Good morning, sister. You are muted, uh, sister. Good morning, all. Good morning, sister. How are you all? Are you all okay? Fine, madam. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, good, praise okay. <laughs> Good. So, I think you have the same enthusiasm and spirit in uh, completing this program, uh, especially the first year. Uh, all of you may be busy with your assignments, right? Sister, we can't see you, sister. Huh? Yes, my video is on. Sister, sister is visible. We can see. Yeah, sister yeah. is visible. No problem. I am here. Yeah, yes, madam. Yes, madam. Kindly check at your oh, end. Oh, okay, I, I'll check. <laughs> okay, okay. So, are you all busy with your assignments? Have you finished or on the way? Finished. 60% over. But sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm the last one in the queue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. You have time till April 30th and you will be, you have the time to submit means the may first week from may 3rd onwards you can submit uh, try to submit during the first week maybe from may 3rd to uh, that is saturday i uh, know yeah saturday sunday okay and uh, yes thank you <laughs> okay um hope you are aware about the guidelines given by the Facilitating guidelines for the uh, supervised practicum for MSCFT. Somebody had put in the uh, means posted in the uh, means in the group now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So in that, uh, you according to the guidelines, you have to do only three practicals for each course practical courses. Uh, except for the mini research. Mini research you have to do as it is. There is no exemption. Um, okay. And you have, I think, uh, two practical classes are over. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, this is for uh, practicum course of uh, MCFTL 002. And what was the theory part of this course? Anybody is remembering? About mental illness. Mental, mental. disorder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mental health and uh, <laughs> sure. mental disorders, no? Mental yes. health and disorders. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the supervisor practicum also is related to that. And then this uh, this may be a bit tough for you uh, to find out the uh, clients and all. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, you have to do, uh, otherwise usually you have to do 13 practicals. No? But for this time, according to the guidelines, you have to do only three practicals. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, have you got your manual with you? Yes, we have. Yes, yes ma'am. We have. Okay. 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 So uh, please take the first uh, page. Means the um, the content page. According to that, practical one is an orientational practical. Okay. That we will be doing during the class. And then practical two is. A case history taking and mental status examination of a young adult male. And a practical three, case history taking and mental status examination of a young adult female. Practical four, case history taking and mental status examination of an individual in middle adulthood male. Uh, fifth one, case history taking and mental status examination. Old person. Yeah, uh, adulthood female, then old person, male, female, female. Pre, -school pre, -school child, 
are male. Yeah. Then preschool uh, child female. female. Yes, yes. Yeah. Then, then uh, childhood middle childhood years male. Yeah. Then and middle childhood years female. Mm -hmm. Then next one adolescent male. Then adolescent female. Female. Okay. Yeah. So uh, from practical two to practical thirteen. From this, you can select only three. I would say uh, one adult, one okay. older person, and one child or adolescent. You have to select three cases or three persons, male or female, not all male or not all female, maybe one female or two uh, male, or uh, one male or two female. You can select like that. Uh, but uh, from uh, one adult, one old person, and one child or adolescent. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So that, that are the uh, three cases. Then uh, there is a, you can see tools for case history taking and mental status examination. You have to use these tools in order to conduct the interview and collect the data. Tool one is case history taking for adult that you can see in the page number 29. Case history taking for ad adult that yeah. is in the page 29. And tool two, mental status examination inventory for adult that is 30, uh, page number 34. 34. You can see. Yeah. Tool three, case history taking for child or adolescent that is page 43. You can see. Uh, tool for mental status examination inventory for child or adolescent that is in the page 52. Okay, so if you are taking a child or adolescent, you have to use the case history Three. and the mental status examination for a child or adolescent. If you are taking an adult or old age person, uh, that is a case history taking for adult and uh, MSc for a adult. Okay. You have to take the uh, copy of the tools from your manual and you can use it. I... Uh, sister, could you please uh, repeat that one? I didn't get. I didn't get. When you are, if you are uh, selecting a child or adolescent, you have to use the tool for uh, adult and, uh, sorry, child and uh, child or adolescent. You okay, have to use okay, sister. Two, two tools. Okay. History and uh, mental status examination. So tools okay. are different. The, different. Yeah. But the same tool has been used. Yes, yes. If you are selecting an adult, means that you have to use the tools the for adult. Sister, what about old people? There are only adult and child and adolescent people. Yeah, adult for for adult and older person, same tool you can use. Okay, thank you. Okay, and and for child or adolescent, you can use the same tool. Clear? Uh, yes, sister. Sister, you mentioned something. Taking a copy and using mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that is, you have to take the copy of the tools from your manual. Manual, uh, you can see these tools from page number uh, 29. Uh, 29 and 34, 43 and 52. Clear? Uh, yes, sister. Upon them, uh, we fill it in, in those papers and that's Blanks. Yeah, you have to take the copy of the tools as it is. Then uh, you have to use that tools uh, for the interview. Okay. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm saying. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, same way, it should be written also, na? When we when we yes. do the practicum, it has to be copied in the same way, and the answer should be written also. Yes, yes, that I will uh, explain to you later. 
first i am just introducing the manual okay and uh, for the uh, page number 7 there you can see uh, important guidelines for uh, working with individuals and families in different settings hmm? uh first point identify the family or individual here you have no family maybe uh, you can find the persons in the family only uh but identify the family or individual for each practical carefully as per the instructions given for each practical but be careful according to the guidelines given uh you no need of going somewhere else for the to the clinic or somewhere uh, in order to identify or find the person whom whoever may be available in your family or in your surroundings or neighborhood or uh, in your among the relatives you can find out okay or if it is not possible going directly to the person you can make the phone calls also phone in phone interview clear Uh, then then the my... phone call should be recorded. Then yes, yes. If we do a phone call and then you that can record it. it. You can record it. But uh, you should uh, take the first. You have to take the consent of the person. Okay. If the person is familiar to, it is easy for you to introduce yourself and for what purpose you are uh, doing this interview. Okay, those who are those who are working in uh, must we always submit the voice record or uh, whatever, or can we just uh, submit the rough written work? Yes, yes, of course, written work. Okay, okay. all that you have to submit, you have to write, and all I'll uh, explain to you later. Okay, ma'am, uh, is this uh, can we interview a normal individual, or it has to be somebody with a mental illness? Because we might not find that in the family. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, a person should have some problems missing uh, that uh, if there is no problem if you are uh, conducting an interview with a normal person you will not have an experience of uh, this course no if somebody is familiar to you at least or uh, for old person uh, maybe uh, he or she will have some problems according to their old age so okay or okay. somebody is yeah And so you have that, to generally have a person who's got some kind of problem. It cannot problems. be on a, a normal person. Normal. Okay, person. Thanks. Yes, yes. And for children or adolescent, you can find out any ADHD or autism or like that. Any. Yes, ma'am. Uh, children. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, how far it is reliable? Because when we are interviewing through phone, uh, uh, who is having some some kind of disorder? Yeah, that is. Uh, it has uh, its own limitations. but only considering the situation or scenario uh, of uh, now we are doing it like this video Otherwise, by video uh, might video might be better no sister video yes yes it's up to you according no. to your convenience <clears throat> and with the consent of the person you know video interviews okay well and good no how we can take the consent over the phone means audio consent or how it would be Uh, audio. If if it, if the person is familiar to you, you can just uh, make a uh, phone call and make a uh, communication or contact with the person. Even in academic level, talking to a normal person through phone and getting information <laughs> is difficult. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. That is so difficult. But you have to find out someone. Uh, if you are working in a hospital or any uh, medical setting, you can find out that you know. Or somebody, then if I it have, is, then I have to go to work in the hospital first. <laughs> are you working in the hospital? No, ma'am. Uh, yeah. If it is uh, possible no. to find a person from the clinic or hospital, it's okay. Good. Or from you can find out a person from the rehabilitation center. Or any uh, centers like that, those who are taking care of the children or um, old age home, if it is possible, you can go there. Only I have to uh, careful uh, in dealing with the persons uh, in this particular scenario. Uh, Madam, I have one doubt. Uh, since we are going to deal with people having some sort of a uh, mental disorder, 
can can uh, we request a normal person who is close to them to be associated yes. because you can't do directly with them yes yes of course if you know someone if you are free to talk to your friends or family members or neighbors of course you can ask them to connect you. Uh, such kind of person. So not not only that, because mm. you you are going to take a concern that you will be maintaining the confidentiality. Okay. Yes, sir. So maybe yes, sir. maybe suppose I say that the husband is having problem. Can I yeah. can I also involve the wife so that of clarity course. comes? But at the same time, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's sir. What I mean. Yes, yes. Of course, of course. You have to. Uh, uh, you have to talk to the uh, the client or the person, and of course the informant. You can ask questions or you can ask some collect um, data, collect some data from the informant or bystander or a family Thank member. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, actually uh, there is a mental status assessment which has to be done, examination which has to be done in yes. all these patients. So, it, uh, as I am a doctor. so uh, mm -hmm. we know that it is always it is not always asking the questions there is lots of observation and body language yes. and stuff like that yes, so yes. Uh, mm -hmm. that means uh, my question is uh, many of these people would not many of the students might not be actually doctors because we have been doing this for 25 yes. years for us it yes. will be easier yeah. so mm -hmm. ma'am yeah. uh, is isn't it better that this practical we should do once this covid thing is little on the way in because i am sure everybody here wants to actually uh, be uh, effective as a, a counselor who can assess so if we do it uh, either on off online or we do it just uh, through the video we might actually miss the whole point so ma'am is there some date uh, which for this uh, uh, thing because i actually uh, would want everyone to actually assess the person properly and understand because it's otherwise it's not going to be useful at all right ma'am of course that is the uh, use of uh, doing this uh, particular course this will be very useful for each person uh, they will be becoming more expert in doing, uh, dealing with such a person uh, but according to Rosa, the situation rosama madam rosama madam kindly mute please yeah according to the situation whatever possible uh, possibilities you can use and uh, it is up to you up to each student when to Uh, submit to the practicum you have time you okay. have uh, four years uh, at least maybe you have uh, within two years you can submit but uh, according to the guidelines you have to submit to the three you can do only three practicals that is only for as of now only for the june uh, term and exam okay. Okay. okay and we do not know whether it is applicable for the december term and exam and those who are uh, really want to complete the course within the duration of uh, two years uh, you can do others of course later uh, when the uh, covid is gone or uh, the situation becomes better you can do it uh, otherwise while uh, after doing all these 13 practicals the person will be really become means they feel that they have done or they learned something yes ma'am Yes, thank you so much ma'am uh, unfortunately the situation is like this ma'am so those who really want to submit uh, we are they have those who have limited time uh, you can follow this okay and of course you have to do the practicals in this interview and all uh, directly and of course the observations and everything you have to add in the report also yes ma'am thank you okay Ma'am, I have one doubt. Uh, Ma'am, yes. uh, the thing is, if I I won't be able to take a video or a uh, audio, written notes is okay. Yes, sir. Of course. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whatever may be, you have to seek the consent of the person. That is important. And if you are doing a normal counseling, also you have to seek the consent of the person. Hmm? Ma'am, for a child, child, we can review the mother. For yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. If you are finding a, a, a abnormal person or, or any person with a mental disorder, or uh, you you cannot uh, get the all uh, proper data from the person. That's why you have to uh, one informant should be there. Okay, if the child was a premature uh, baby. 
but doesn't have any um, after growing uh, to two years he doesn't have any problem then also we can take this case two years child uh, uh, the child is at least maybe uh, above five years you can okay, uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Then we, otherwise we can uh, maybe for autism or ADHD and all minimum three years only we can find out and you know, we can uh, diagnose. The okay, okay, okay. Okay. And uh, um, so before conducting any practicum, you should have thorough knowledge of its theoretical component and complete understanding of the procedure of performing the practicum activity. So before you uh, conducting before your uh, interview, uh, you, have, you should have the knowledge about the theoretical aspect. Okay, and uh, uh, important points for writing a report: uh, basic information should be there. Okay, that means uh, the place mention all relevant details of your student status. That is, uh, I'll maybe I'll come to. That point later. Um, okay. Uh, submission of supervised practicum file. Uh, there is a page number 11. Address is given on the top. Have you seen? Uh, student Evaluation Division, Indira Gandhi National Open University, Maiden Gari, uh, New Delhi, 11. 0068 that is the address and uh, according to the normal time april 30th uh, we have to miss your file should reach in delhi but as of now it is not possible and uh, uh, there is no last date is given in the website you have to check with the uh, website okay and uh, you have to make the hard copy of this case report and you have to post it to the Delhi uh, at the same time you should have the PDF copy of it after the final submission okay and uh, the checklist of enclosures page 11 last part when submitting your supervisory practicum file please ensure that you have included the following the cover page should clearly state the title supervised practicum file for the course MCFTL 002. That you have to mention in your cover page, means the first page. Uh, your name and enrollment number must also be mentioned on the cover page. Uh, the first page or the face sheet must also have your name. Enrollment number, full address, name, designation, and address of your supervisor, as well as the name and address of your uh, study center. The format of the face sheet, uh, practical file is given on the next page, means page number 12. Okay, page number 12, that is the face sheet, supervisor practical file in CFT, uh, first year, and PGD CFT. MCFTL 002, that is the page sheet that is up to signature of the student and date. Only that much. Okay. That number three and four, uh, you can, you better, you can type and take the printout for the cover page and the page sheet. Then uh, in the enclosure, in written record of the uh, practicals and corresponding enclosures like audio tape, CDs and other materials used. If you have recorder, uh, you can submit it uh, in the CD or the audio tape. And also uh, while conducting the interview, you have to write down. Uh, you should have a, a F4 sheet with you, a sheet or sheets you can uh, additional information you can note down in that uh, sheet okay clear so that sheet also if you are uh, taking it or writing it in your uh, uh, mother tongue uh, malayalam or any other language uh, you have to translate it into english that uh, uh, original copy also should be there and the translated form also should be there 
clear hello yes sister ah okay and then uh, annexure a section 1 2 and 3 and annexure b so only uh, the evaluation internal and the external evaluation sheet i have posted in the group because uh, there is a uh, difference in the mark since you are doing only three practicals uh, not according to the um, uh, evaluation sheet given in the annexure page okay so except that internal external evaluation sheet you have to add or attach all other sheets given at the back section 3 and the certificate of completion of supervisor practicum page that two pages and uh, plus the madam can you just madam can you just tell me the page number page number annexure page uh 5 at the back annexure page 5 and that is section 3 grand total of marks for inclusion in the learners final mark sheet take the copy of this page and attach also uh, page 6 certificate of completion of supervisor practicum that is annexure b got it take the copy of that page and attach it um, in this 12 practicals of supervisor practicum is saying so we are not doing 12 right here this time you are not doing 12 only 3 so, okay so only 3 so uh, we have to change that right yes so that's why i had given um, uh, told you in the beginning uh, means say you can select three uh, one okay. from the adulthood one from old age one from child or adolescent Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank. You. Okay. Yeah. And then, sister, apart from these uh, two annexures that you said, is there any other sheet you have shared with the group? Yes, yes. Internal and external mark sheet, evaluation uh, sheet. sheet. Okay. Uh, other study centers, uh, how do we receive it from you? Because you may be sharing it in only the group center. uh maybe some of the can share with you or if anyone uh, are you from different different study centers yes uh, we are from at least uh, two study centers alapura and uh, ernakulam dmc okay uh, one of you can just uh, message me i can share it with you and okay. you have to change the uh, study center code name code and all okay Okay, thank you, sister. Okay. Ah, uh, number please. Ah, uh, number I'll give you in the chat chat box later. Okay, ma'am. And now we come to the sister. Ah, uh, इधर मैनुअल इल्ला आ आ सेक्शन वन एंड टू वाले अटैच है इन्दर दिन. इन्दर Yes, yes. One and two. Not the internal and external evaluation sheet. Other sheets. Page number. Uh, no. Section three and uh, annexure B. Ah, uh, what is it, ma'am? Ah, group letter. Ah, no. We have printed it. Okay. Okay. and uh, i'll uh, introduce you the tools later okay now we'll come to the page number 26 i'll just make you to familiar with the format to be used for doing and writing down the report of each of the practicals page number 26 how to write the report
മാം ഞാന് എന്റെ പേര് ഡോക്ടർ ഉഷ മേനോൻ ഞാന് വിചാരിക്കായിരുന്നു നമ്മള് ഈ പ്രാക്ടിക്കത്തിൽ ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മള് ശരിക്കും അവിടെ വരികയാണെങ്കിൽ വി വുഡ് ഹവ് കമൺ സീൻ വാട്ട് യു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് ആക്ച്വലി അപ്പം ദർ ആർ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ പ്രോബ്ലി ഹു ഡോൺ നോ ദ എക്സാക്ട് ഇന്റർവ്യൂയിങ് സ്കിൽസ് സോ ഐ വാസ് ജസ്റ്റ് വണ്ടറിങ് യു ക്യാൻ ഇൻ ഫ്രം യുവർ സെന്റർ ക്യാൻ യു ഡു സം മോക്ക് ഇന്റർവ്യൂസ് ഓർ മോക്ക് കേസ് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ടേക്കിംഗ് things like that as short videos and put it in the group so that at least we know i mean uh, when we search in the net it's all english uh, i mean things which are coming from malayalathile how different it is especially the psychiatric uh, history taking and all that maybe it will be useful for um, uh, people who do not have that experience mm-hmm. yeah of course the practical classes should be face to face but unfortunately according to the uh, this challenging situation we have to do or uh, like this only we actually we have uh, requested to the delhi even but as of now uh, we have no permission to conduct the practical classes face to face that's why so uh, for this conducting this type of interviews okay but for conducting the uh counseling sessions it's uh, really difficult you must see it uh, directly then only you can understand but if you can make some videos from you are and uh, between you like mock interviews uh how you would approach a patient and take all this thing i mean like that a practical demo video uh something like that might be useful uh, yeah, that's what yeah. um, i it will be useful but uh, let me see how it will work okay okay madam thank you yeah. so take the page number 26 all have taken okay uh, there is there you can uh, first on the top you have to write practical activity 1 okay practical activity 1 and uh, then title practical activity uh, uh one case history taking and mental status examination of uh, who is uh, whom you have interviewed first maybe adult or old age or child or adolescent got it the title should be like this practical activity one your first case okay practical activity one uh case history taking and mental status examination of a young adult male this is an example and it depends on whom you have uh taken what is uh, uh in the practical title the individual mentioned would change as per the practical number here you no need of looking the practical number uh Uh, you have only three practicals and that number you can mention and aim the same way uh, case is taking and mental status examination of a uh, young adult male the same according to the title the aim should be same and objectives after undertaking the practical activity you will be able to or uh, or i will be when you write i'll be able to understand the importance of psychiatric case history taking and mental status examination no method of taking psychiatric case history in a young adult male and depends on the uh, client you have you are taking a place skills of case history taking in clinical practice no method of conducting mental status examination in in a young adult male or female and that and apply skills of assessing mental status of patient this objective of the objectives should be written same way clear and only there is a change uh, whom you are taking the uh, the subject and next to title subtitle uh, uh, method okay under method comes materials required so i have to write the subtitle materials required interview schedule for case history taking that is must uh, tool for mental health status uh, mental status mental health status examination pen paper tape record or uh, recorder 
if you are using it. Clear? And here you can mention if it is a child, uh, uh, see the not given down. The tool for cases to taking and mental status examination are given in this section. Uh, use the ones relevant for the individual whom you have <coughs> identified for the specific practical. Thus, for practicals 2 to 7, you will use the tool 1. Meant for cases to taking for adult. If it is an adult or older, you can use the same tools. And tool 2, mental status examination inventory for adult. Likewise, for practical, 8 to 13, you would use tool 3 and a tool for, that is a, for a child and adolescent. Okay, so uh, under the method uh, comes the subtitle materials, materials required, interview schedule for cases you're taking, uh, tool for mental, uh, mental health status examination for adult, or if it is a child or adolescent, you have to mention it there. I didn't get it, ma'am. Please uh, repeat tools, ma'am. I didn't get. Uh, here, you, uh, materials required. If you are, uh, if your individual is a child or an adolescent, you have to mention that uh, the tools for child and adolescent. If the individual is an adult or old age, you can mention it. The tool for uh, adult. Clear. Okay, okay. Okay. So, uh, so the next subtitle sample. Sample. The individual identified for the practical would be as per the title of the practical. Means if it is a young adult male or young adult female or child male or female, adolescent child, adolescent male or female. You can just mention the age also. And uh, of course, don't use the actual name. Pseudonym you can use. Uh, and the age also you can mention because uh, it, it is clear. Uh, it will be clear to the evaluator uh, to identify the, whether it is a, a young adult or a, I mean, a old age person or child. Okay, so in the sample you can write, uh, means alphabets you can use uh, young adult ABC and mention the age of the person, young adult female. No need of mentioning the name also. Young adult to female, uh, then age. Clear? Hello? And next comes the procedure. Procedure. Can anyone uh, read out the procedure? This is an just an example is given in the procedure. Identify a patient from the desired group. Is, it, is that, madam, you are asking? Procedure. Procedure. Please, page number 27. After sample. Ident identify a, that, identify yeah. a patient from a desired age group. Explain the respondent about the practical activity and convince him or her or him and or the family to give you an interview. Take a detailed case history and mental status examination by using the given tools. Remember the schedule is only a broad guideline. If needed, if need be, you can ask more questions or probe further in order to get detailed and complete information about a topic in the interview. Remember that the patient has to be accompanied by another person who would be an informant for you and helping in answering your questions. Be sensitive to your respondents. Some of them may want to take some time to think about the questions. You can also ask. You can also change the order of some uh, sections in the interview depending on how the conversation between you and the respondent progresses. On an average, um, the interview should take about one and a half to two hours. You must record or document the responses you gathered in the interview, especially for discussions with your academic counselor and writing report for this practical and enclose the same in your file. You may use a tape recorder for recording purpose after seeking permission from the respondent. Your report for this practical should include the case history and mental health status of your respondent and the CD tape written sheets on which the interview was recorded. Refer to the instructions given later for analysis and report writing for the same. Okay. 
uh, uh, here uh, you have to mention how you have done the interview and how you have collected the data, how much time you spent with the, uh, the individual and how they were cooperative, all that, how you made the visit, how you could make the uh, consent of the person, all that you have to mention here in the procedure section. Okay. And the next is the findings. Findings. Findings, in the finding uh, here, you have to attach the two tools, which one, uh, case history and the MSC. And of course, uh, the, the uh, sheets the, you have written, roughly you have men, uh, make a, uh, this one, uh, not. You have to attach that sheet also. And then you have to make a brief note about the findings based on the uh, data collected using the uh, tools. It's the findings. And next session, Section is analysis and discussion. Uh, in this section only you are, uh, uh, you, you will come to know or the evaluator come to know how smart or how expert uh, the learner is. So you are uh, analyzing and discussing about the uh, particular individual and the disorder and uh, the, based on the observation and uh, data you have collected uh, using the uh, tools. Uh, in this section, you have to write down your inference and, and analysis of the observations you have made about the individual. Analyze the behavior and the characteristics of the individual. And the next is Excuse conclusion. Me. Yes. Um, I have a question. So it is mentioned over here that the, um, the academic council, uh, especially for the discussion with your academic council, we have to write a report. Yes, in yes. case if the academic council is not willing to discuss in a proper way, in a detailed way, will we lose mark? Uh, no, you have to, uh, can, after writing, or uh, if you have any doubt in how to write the report and all, you can contact your academic counselor. No, uh, madam, for 002, you are the academic counselor, right? Yes, yes. Okay. That is for me. Velour only, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah, if an academic council is not willing to do in a proper way, will we lose marks or what we should write over there? Uh, that depends on the uh, academic counselor. Sorry for asking this kind of questions, but maybe <laughs> it's a. You are, uh, you are from which uh, center? Alapi. Uh, I don't know. Uh, means it's uh, usually in here we um, we are really friendly with the students, and whenever they ask or approach the academy counselor, everybody is ready to help the uh, students. And you can make a rough note or a rough case report, and you have to uh, show first of all for me also for this uh, regarding this particular course also. First, you have to write a rough record. And you have to show me, and then I'll make give you some corrections if there is corrections, and you have to make a final uh, note. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. And conclusions, uh, you can uh, make conclusion or provisional diagnosis, provisional diagnosis uh, or conclusion. Okay, uh, in that. Uh, in this section, you have to conclude this practicum in about 500 to 750 words. Here, you have to record the inference that you have been able to draw on the basis of this practical activity. Broadly, you need to focus on the findings and the interpretations of the same. So in the conclusion or provisional diagnosis, you can add the title uh, conclusion uh, or provisional diagnosis. So under this, you can maybe it's uh, according to you can you have to use the refer the DSM four and ICD ten and if it is uh, if it is uh, DSM five is available for you you can uh, mention that one you can refer DSM five and ICD ten 
In say according to this study material, they are uh, mentioned DSM-4 only. Uh, if you are referring DSM-5, it's okay. D according to DSM-5, uh, bipolar disorder. Uh, according to ICD-10, what it is. You have to mention clearly uh, like that. Then uh, under that, uh, you have to explain. Means just you can copy that from the um, this one book, uh, DSM five or four or ICD ten. So according to uh, DSM five, what are the criteria uh, for bipolar disorder? That you have to one or two uh, two pages maybe one page or one and a half page or maximum two pages. You have to just copy that according to DSM five. What is bipolar disorder? What are the criteria? What are the symptoms? Okay. Also, you have to mention according to ICD-10, what is bipolar, and what are the criteria and the symptoms. Clear that section. Uh, uh, both we have to write DSM-4 yes. and ICD-10. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. And uh, next title: reflections. Reflection is uh, your personal, as it's uh, subjective. Okay how you felt, what was your experiencing while uh, conducting this practical activity, what was the insight you got or what was your uh, learning, your personal experience, what you could learn, all that you have to mention in the reflection. That may be a one page maximum. Okay. Uh, you, you may state how you went about this practicum activity and how your respondents reacted towards you and what was your experience. Note down any particular behavior of the respondent which you came across like too self-conscious, adjusting dress or hair constantly, etc. Write your inner self-experience in this whole practicum in a simple paragraph of about 250 words. Reflect on your experience while performing this practical okay so uh, that much is the uh, format of writing the re case report uh, ma'am oru doubt undu nammala case report na itra page angane onnum illallo itra page venam angane illa angane illa but you have to mention everything in detail uh, especially the analysis and discussion uh, part and the finding part, uh, procedure, of course, how you did it, and uh, uh, the conclusion or provisional diagnosis. We have to make it a reflection. Okay. 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 It is not mentioned here how many pages okay. should be, but, okay. but it should be genuine and sincere work. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, sister. And, and uh, towards the end, uh, page number. Uh, there is in uh, page number 63, there is uh, uh, part three, illustrations of case history taking and mental status examination. That is just a, uh, this is just an example or model for you how to write the case. But don't uh, copy as it is from this uh, illustrations. Just a model. Page number? Page number 63. According to my uh, this one uh, study material. Uh, part 3. Illustrations of case history taking and mental status examination. What the page? Yes, sister. Yeah, there is a two, three um, given. Just so you can just go through it. Uh, just uh, you will get an idea about it. Okay. And just don't follow as it is. You have to follow the format given that we have just discussed just now. Page number 26. 26 to 28. Okay. And it was each, uh, it is mentioned in the study material or the manual uh, to be filled in the filled uh, in by the supervisor counselor. This part you no need of uh, mentioning because 
uh, you are doing only three practicals and each practical is not um, uh, we are not divided the marks okay so that part is not needed uh, page of which page uh, for what and now we are saying uh, that page 28 oh, the last oh. part page one that part is not needed actually if you are doing all 13 practicals you have to uh, add this page also but as of now uh, the evaluation criteria is different and this part is not uh, should not um, no need of mentioning madam but page 28 is reflections and conclusions no yeah to us the, the last part <clears throat> to be the last we don't 28. have we don't have okay. that. You, you we don't have that? No, we have to That's, do only the reflections. Okay, okay, then it's fine. Maybe in the old uh, study, that is, you got the new uh, manual or you okay. took the pr print out? This is the manual which we got. This is the new manual one. which we got, new one. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, for even, in the soft is, uh, copy, even in the soft copy, it is like this only, madam. There is nothing beyond reflections. Okay, okay, okay. That's uh, fine. So in the old uh, manual, it is given like that. Okay, no need of. Maybe uh, for you at the towards the end, the last page may be given. You know, in the last page there is a sample of permission letter. Is it uh, only that? Only that one. Yeah, that is uh, the sixth okay, 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 page. So, of... Okay, then leave it. So this sample uh, of permission letter. It's a fear of inculsion. Is there section three that you are reading that? Sister, grand total marks of inculsion. Uh, that, uh, that, uh, that you should attach. You have to take the copy of that page and attach as enclosure. Okay. And the, and the certificate of completion also. And the next page from last to second page. Uh, then are you talking about the evaluation sheet? <laughs> uh, evaluation sheet for each practical is given in my manual. Maybe in the new manual it is not mentioned. Right? Yeah, evaluation sheet is in the back side. Uh, that is internal and external evaluation. Yeah, internal evaluation is here. Okay. That uh, Instead of that sheet, you have to attach the sheet I have given. Okay. 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 Then uh, section three and an extra B. Only these two pages. You have to address. Okay. Uh, and now I will just do the orientational practical. Uh, please take page 13. Are your page is same or not? I don't know. Practical one or initial practical. It's the same. It's the same. Okay. Uh, uh, this uh, activity assessment of case signature. Uh, a case signature one. Page number 14. Please one of you uh, may read out case one, case signature one. Tahira Khan. Mm. Tahira Khan, a 22-year-old art graduate, lives in Jammu. Her marriage has been fixed to a well-settled boy, 26 years old, from business family of Muzaffarpur, Uttar Pradesh. These mm. days, she looks very upset in a world of her own, uninterested in people and things around her. At times, she is rude with her mother. At other times, she holds her tight and crises a lot. Her mother is worried seeing her behavior. First, okay. what is happening in Tahira's life? Okay. Uh, if you find out or if you come across with such a person, what will be your evaluation or assessment? So in order to understand a case more deeply 
or uh, which will make you uh, more uh, able uh, you have to answer the questions given here what is happening in Tahira's life uh, is she portraying normal behavior of a girl whose marriage has been fixed what is her mother's concern what could be possible reason for such behavior so so the individual individually you have to do it answer for this uh, uh, questions uh, you will have uh, maybe uh, five minutes uh, no, 10 minutes you will have 10 minutes and you have to answer it you have to write it in a uh, page and we'll come back after 10 minutes okay and few of you may uh, present it clear okay so okay. Yeah. okay see you after 10 minutes okay sister Susan, madam, you are unmuted.
everybody are you alive sister yes sister so someone can uh, present your <coughs> report sister jaya here okay uh, uh tahira khan is very attached to her family especially to her mother she is sad to part her family after marriage she does this not want question, to question number 1 what i want yeah. okay she does not want to express her original feelings so it comes out in different ways in different situations she okay. wants to get married but do not want to go away from her family she know her both desires together is not possible they are not she is thinking of a solution she is trying to somehow detach from her mother especially by being rude and trying those ways this is the first question answer i have got okay I'm trying to write the second answer so to give up some time okay <laughs> okay So only first question answer is done. Okay, somebody else. Sister, I have written. Mm. Uh, she is not happy with the boy she is proposed to marry. Mm. She is showing her disapproval of the marriage by being rude to her mother mm -hmm. and crying at her fate mm -hmm. of helplessness. it is evident that she doesn't want to marry this person she is in a world of her own and thinking ways to cancel this marriage mm -hmm. this is my first and first question uh i will be here yeah ma'am preeti here mm. uh the for the first question it is after fixing marriage she is totally disappointed and that shows either she might go for uh, wanted to go for higher studies or she may not like to get married at that point of time mm -hmm. and for the second part of the question uh, normally a girl who is willing to marry will never show such behavior here in this case it is obvious that she doesn't want to get married either maybe because he is a businessman or she didn't mm -hmm. want to get migrated to up considering mm -hmm. the situations of females there mm -hmm. or she might be loving somebody else mm -hmm. this is a second question is is it a normal behavior of a girl yeah. no it is not a no, normal behavior that is what if she is willing to marry if she does not behave like that. okay uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. So third else. question third question is uh, uh, uh. regarding her mother's concern mm -hmm. her mother might be worried whether she is in love with someone else or she is mm -hmm. having any physical problem which she can't reveal or uh, she she is not interested in this person mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. might be the worries of a mother mm -hmm. and for the fourth part of the question the reason mm -hmm. might be uh, as i said earlier she might be loving someone uh, uh, like some other guy of different religion or different caste mm -hmm. or she might not want to uh, migrate to the other place mm -hmm. or she wanted somebody uh, of her same qualification not a businessman mm -hmm. she might have uh, wanted to go for higher studies or uh, either uh, she might have some physical illness which she can't reveal okay uh, anybody else wants to add yes. something else yes, yes okay. i will i'll tell okay so, yeah tahira uh, again okay one, one at a time yeah tahira has got some issues with her mind that is uh, shown by her behavior she is worried about the marriage Uh, mm -hmm. or she is not agreeing to the marriage mm -hmm. 
her mother is not allowing her to destroy according to her wish and mm. so she is rude to her mother mm. now she think about the reality okay. that uh, she and her mother is helpless as a family is patriarchal and they do not have a role in the decision making mm. only men decide, men decide. then mother is uh, worried why because um, life uh, thinking about the life of uh, her because she is behaving different to others in her community mm -hmm. okay and then what could be possible reasons for such um, behavior uh, this mood uh, uh, this uh, this uh, he can she cannot adjust with the uh, reality or, or she cannot uh, decide uh, uh, to the need of the hour and and that is the issue mm -hmm. uh, madam are, madam are you looking for one word anxiety <laughs> i think it is more uh, difference uh, this is uh, uh, this is just going to depression Ma'am, may I add? I think what is happening to her life is um, whatever they said, and also that she's unable to accept change in her life. So she's using a defense mechanism, displacement, hurting her mother because she can't explain what really is happening around. So you, she's using that as a uh, displacement mechanism to hide her emotions and rather take it out on her mother, who she is very close to. May I add? No, as for me, and, this, uh, she may. Even after some time, she may adjust to the uh, problem, and she will be normal. Otherwise, she may go depressed and uh, yes, bad. I think she is. I think she is already depressed. Yeah, she's, but she is struggling now. And her mind is struggling now. She is not. Re she is not able to speak to her mother. Maybe because of that, she is at times holding her and holding her tight and cries a lot. Maybe because she is not able to communicate her feelings properly with her mother. Ma'am, there are two behaviors. There are two behaviors on uh, her part with her mother. Mm -hmm. I just analyze both. Okay. One is uh, one is she uh, what you call angry. Her first mm -hmm. behavior is anger towards the mother. That mm -hmm. mother is not saying with her to decide together and fight with the situation to have a uh, what do you call mm, the good thing to as per her according to mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Second thing, she is uh, near into reality that both both she and her mother is helpless. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, both are helpless. They cannot do anything. That reality comes to her mind. Excuse That's me. That's why the second behavior. Uh, there can be one more angle. That is, uh -huh. uh, that is uh, the family of origin. So mm -hmm. she may be experiencing some uh, or observing some incidents from family or neighborhood or from uh, relatives. So mm -hmm. that is why uh, uh, she is fearful that whether uh, it will happen to her also. Mm -hmm. So she is anxious, anxious, angry. All the mood, uh, mood disturbances are there uh, observing uh, in this lady. All these things, there is one very important factor which we uh, might need to consider. That is, many children we see that uh, as children they may have encountered some form of sexual abuse. This is very common, much more common than we all can imagine. And mm -hmm. many of the times it remains suppressed or repressed, not suppressed, repressed in an unconscious manner within the child's memory. So and later when the uh, when a proposal for marriage, etc. comes, the girl doesn't know what she's exactly trying for at times. Mm -hmm. because apart from all the other reasons which many people cited here, I would like mm -hmm. to say that this can also and be a possible reason. Possible. The girl might not be able to express to her mother also because she herself might not know why she's crying, why she's upset. That can also be a reason and should be looked into. That's what yes, I, yes. I very well, I very well agree with that. I very well agree with that. <laughs> okay. okay. True, true. Sister, uh, her, she is very close to her mother, but uh, that is why she holds her mother tight. But she is scared of opening up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, most of the time, you know, such memory. Okay. You are, are always. Well. Mm -hmm. uh, there might be. Okay. 
So she if I come knowing why she's crying about also, if she's I not able to talk to her mother, she might not be able to express it because he might not even remember it. It may take a while for us to bring her out of that and try to slowly uh, make her help her bring out those memories and then help her deal with it. If that is a thing, there might be other reasons also like other suggestions, but this might also be a very important point to look into. Uh, hello sister after yes, reading the after reading the paragraph uh, i understood that she uh, recently she had ma made the uh, change behavioral change in her life after fixing the marriage so she is totally worried about the marriage and then uh, then she might have the previous experience of her mother uh, so uh, she is thinking about that what will happen the future what will be the life of her and uh, uh, she may be thinking about that so uh, it is recently made up uh, things uh, till then she was maybe free uh, recently she started to uh, uh, show herself differently uh, she don't uh, she is in her own world and she is uh, different and don't like the people and don't want to talk to each other uh, and uh, uh, sometimes she shows the uh, her uh, uh, problem or anxiety uh, by rude uh, by uh, rude behavior to her mother or uh, some uh, sometimes she is, uh, shows uh, a different mood uh, that uh, the worries no uh, that she is uh, uh, wanted to wanted to have the care from her mother so it, it is all about the fear about the uh, marriage uh, that's what i read from this paragraph uh sister uh, sister uh, i would like to say that uh, here she is 22 year old girl and she 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 likes art so she want to pursue uh, more in that uh, subject more than that maybe she is the replica of her own mother because she may get some quality from her mother as an art artist or like that and she has been seen in her life that her mother uh, it's a fake it to pursue her own uh, uh, her own taste that may be happen in her, my life also that is a that may be the reason she uh, um, that makes uh, made her upset and she is completely showing her a bad behavior to her mother because her mother uh, herself uh, failed to understand her feelings because she, uh, she belongs to jammu and you know that what is the history of jammu and muzaffar i think muzaffar and the boy boy is coming from a business family maybe the taste the taste of the both family will be different and she feel that what happened to her uh, my mother will be repeated in my uh, my life also still the person the, the only person who can understand me also fail to understand my feelings that may be the reason yeah 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 Yes, good. You all uh, did well. Uh, good evaluation. Uh, Thank you. If a person like this uh, comes to you, what you have to say? How you are to help the person? Uh, you all did well. Uh, so, but uh, uh, my question is whether this case or the girl is uh, showing some normal behavior or uh, abnormal behavior. For a twenty-two-year-old, because. some disturbance some disturbance uh okay. there's no ma'am there is no abnormal behavior this is only a tool to tool to uh, what i feel that she is a very normal child but this is only a tool to evade from the marriage that is fact because uh, we have to i beg yes. to differ i think this is a, a normal behavior of a girl who's going having the anxiety of leaving her family of orientation entering another family the, there is distance involved and she doesn't know the person with whom she is going to get married to so uh, even if she might be happy because there might be times when she is actually happy about getting married but it is a behavior it could be normally possible for a girl to go through these emotions at uh, when she is getting married to a person whom she doesn't know far away from her uh, family of orientation uh, so she is not not she is not oh. normal sure why? because why, why? because if a 
uh, it is not madam, the behavior of a girl excuse me madam whose excuse marriage me is madam fixed. please ask others to mute madam when one person is speaking please yes, ask sir. others to mute okay as for me uh, this one if a marriage is fixed for a girl she is is she is used to be happy that is the normal this, behavior uh, uh, there is a, some disturbance please uh, mute all only one person is talking now can i speak uh, yes yes so if a marriage is fixed for a girl she is mm -hmm. supposed to be happy and uh, this tahir the particular girl is not happy mm -hmm. and she is uh, behaving differently and uh, different uh, differently in the sense she is uh, away from the people uh, mm -hmm. that means uh, she is withdrawn mm -hmm. uh, sadness and she is behaving abnormal to the mother so uh, everything shows that she is having some problem to be tackled okay so uh, but okay but this is uh, we cannot say this is exactly a abnormal behavior you have to see a, a person comes to you you have to see the background of the person family background the culture uh the education background family setting everything and the interest our uh, hobbies or uh, everything have to look into and here uh, the child the girl is 22 year old after graduate lives in jammu and kashmir and where is jammu and kashmir and where is uttar pradesh masapur it's a very, uh, two different states and uh, having two different culture traditions everything and she is from a uh, uh, and and she uh, the boy is from a business family of course business family and it uh, it is not necessary that the boy is educated especially in uttar uh, uttar pradesh uh, boys especially the business uh, people there uh, don't go for a higher education and all. just uh, maybe um, the school education only so maybe uh, and here um, yeah and uh, of course for a girl mother is very close to um, the, the girl girl child uh, so she could express her feelings her emotions, emotions everything, everything with her mother so that is uh, as of for me it's a normal behavior for a girl and this happen not is in there a problem Kerala. is there a problem sir it happened not in kerala uh, you are uh, seeing the case as uh, some of you uh, of course uh, uh, did well um, could make a good evaluation and uh, possible reasons for such behavior so behavior here we have to uh, understand what is a normal behavior and what is an abnormal behavior okay and uh, and this is it is not mentioned here for how long mentioned here no no it's not they've mentioned here days. they've just mentioned these days yeah these days only just maybe after the uh, marriage uh, i think we must talk one must talk to her to find out one must have a few sessions with her to find out what is that is when you go <laughs> yeah so anyway this is a, our subjective evaluation okay so but uh, from this case you are you have to learn that if a curse come a case comes to you how you are to deal with the possible uh, what is actually what is happening in the guy's life and the person's life and uh, is it a normal behavior or an abnormal behavior or uh, whether it uh, influences the normal life or daily life of the person uh, what is her mother's concern of course for a mother uh, what could be the concern of a mother the prior concern uh, the, 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 the girl get married you know the so marriage of the girl child that's a uh, concern and uh, now the uh, the girl is showing some other behavior means some she is uh, behaves differently of course and of course so she is uh, worried and what the possible reasons for such behavior uh, already we have discussed here okay uh, now case number 2 please uh, read out and if you can read Case number two. 
Okay. So Nisha is a five-year-old beautiful girl. She started going to a preschool at four years of age. She has one younger brother, three-year-old. Some of her, some of her classmates often complain that Nisha misbehaves with them, shouts at them, is rude, and at times throw her belongings on the floor too. The class teacher has called Nisha's parents to school. So the first question: Analyze the problem areas needing intervention. Do you think Nisha is at fault? Third question: What could be the possible reasons for her for such behavior? Okay. You can just go through this paragraph and this case, analyze it, and uh, try to find the answer for these two questions. Okay, you have ten minutes. We'll come back after ten minutes.
Hi, sister. We are back here. Okay. Can anyone anyone present the uh, report? Sister, uh, may I uh, on this second uh, case? Yes, yes. Question number one: Analyze the problem areas needing in. Probably the child needs a little more care uh, because um, Nisha feels a kind of uh, neglect after the second uh, child has come in, and uh, she, till her three years uh, of three years of age, she was uh, feeling uh, or she was getting all the attention from the parents, and uh, she was thinking that in the uh, family, uh, her mother and father. Uh, would be definitely taking care of uh, or giving her all the attention. So uh, probably she is just uh, when she is uh, gone to a preschool uh, environment. She is. Uh, she, I mean, uh, she when if she takes out her anger and anxiety with the um, sibling, her parents may be interfering or uh, scolding her kind of. So she is taking out that. Uh, uh, sort of anger and frustration with the other kids around her when she is in school. Um, so those may be the areas uh, which need the intervention. So she may not. It may be a child's innocence um, and a temporary behavioral change. So um, she may not be really going through a, a major disorder or a personality disorder. This is uh, only my observation. Thank you. Uh, Madam, yeah. case, uh, Madam, I would like to talk on this case. Mm -hmm. uh, Madam, uh, in this case, I would like to see the family as a whole and then talk about Nisha. Uh, I think Nisha is bringing out a symptom in this case. Mm -hmm. Like the family, um, uh, when uh, when there was one child and when now the uh, after the birth of the second child, the family has not really adjusted to that and the first baby or the first child is um, finding difficulties uh, in getting attention and care due to that so i think um, uh, the the problem analyze uh, the analysis of the problem should uh, either uh, be uh, we should uh, take care of the parents first uh, we should be uh, looking into the parents' approach, you know, uh, both the mother and the father and whoever is there in the family, what kind of uh, interactions they are doing with Nisha. Um, and I don't think Nisha is at fault because uh, we cannot really tell a five-year-old child uh, being at fault. I think she is bringing out the problems which is going inside the family and the possible reason could be the lack of attention from uh, everyone like primarily from mother and then from each and every uh, family member uh, and what what all things which is happening in the family we are not uh, purely um, aware from this one paragraph but even then there could be a lot of um, things which are going inside the family maybe there are other members also so that is what i felt Okay, sister, good. sister, the, I, shall I? Can I one sister? at a time. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe here. One at a time, please. Ma'am, the temper tantrums she is showing is mainly of the sibling rivalry, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, as the previous person said, she was the elder child and she was getting all the care. And when the younger one was born, uh, the parents might have given her less attention. So all those things uh, changed to her temper tantrums and that is what she was showing in her school. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe uh, after uh, talking to the parents and giving her more concern and care, she will be a normal child. And there is no fault in that. It happens in every family. Uh, normally, a younger child is born. This happens. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, I would like to say. Who is that? I yes, ma'am. Um, sister, can, we can see that the the age gap between uh, the elder one and the second one is only. 
less than two year so she was the she was the child who got most attention from the family being a first born suddenly the second born came ma'am so you can see that when she became two or uh, one or uh, one and a half year old her mother uh, got conceived that in what happened suddenly the mother is uh, what is it mother is uh, having lot of problem so to look after her kids and look after to cope up with the pressure of of the second child so this time there is a, ne a negligence a deliberate uh, unknowingly there is a uh, negligence coming from the part of all family so uh, here the family nisha is not a uh, problem the family who is failed to cope up with the uh, responsibilities makes a worse uh, circumstance for the kid and she is showing that uh, pressure to someone else that i feel that i felt sister thank you yes uh, we are living in india so the sex discrimination is there the younger child is a boy mm -hmm. so the parents yeah. are giving more attention to him mm -hmm. so uh, that is why she is very aggressive uh, because lack of attention from the parents lack of love and affection from the parents and this is not nisha's fault at all mm -hmm. okay yeah good and uh, yeah anybody else anybody else sister yeah okay sir yeah. yeah. okay well, father you also can okay, okay. Uh, uh, sister uh, we can uh, just uh, assume the things uh, from the that little paragraph only that we can do uh, uh, what i understand or assume uh, is that uh, nisha has no fault to it but uh, we need to uh, just uh, guide both the parents and nisha because uh, in, uh, for nisha it is the time for her personal development fully uh, the understanding of uh, uh, not cognitive level but understanding level uh, she is uh, uh, developing her personality full it's uh, what i have understand is that from the age 1 to 6 uh, 6 is the time for a uh, a personality development in the childhood itself no so we need to uh, guide her in the proper channel and now the uh, other section we need to have with the parents because uh, uh, now the parents may be giving more care uh, to the uh, younger child and now nisha is starting started to going to the school so the atmosphere uh, uh, of her is changed Uh, earlier uh, earlier she was only fully in the family but now she is uh, a different atmosphere and there to cope up with her uh, for her is uh, maybe difficult uh, because uh, maybe she was getting all the concern in her family but now uh, the the teachers are focusing not only her and what she sees uh, same uh, with her in the family now uh, younger child is there of course uh, that uh, child is 3 years but more attention is giving uh, to that uh, younger child and here in the school also maybe not the teachers may not be focusing only to the not the child but all those child children Same. sitting in the school so we need to have the uh, uh, counseling or uh, or guidance uh, to both the parents as well as the child nisha child. thank you ഫാദർ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ തന്നെയാണ് കാരണം എന്താ വെച്ചാൽ ഈ കുട്ടി എങ്ങനെയാണ് വീട്ടിൽ പെരുമാറുന്നു എന്നത് കൂടി നമ്മൾ അറിയണം സ്കൂളിലെ പ്രശ്നങ്ങളോ സ്കൂളിലെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സുകളുടെ പ്രശ്നങ്ങളോ ആവാം ഒരു പക്ഷേ അത് അറിയണം എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ വീട്ടിലെ സ്വഭാവം കൂടി അറിഞ്ഞാൽ കാര്യമായിട്ട് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ആ രണ്ടാമത്തെ കുട്ടി എന്നുള്ളത് വലിയൊരു ഘടകമായിട്ട് തോന്നുന്നില്ല എന്റെ ഒരു കാഴ്ചപ്പാട് and i agree to most of the things but along with the uh, sibling rivalry there could also be separation anxiety because the child is leaving her parent and her known environment for the first time that could also be one of the contributing factors and the bit that the sibling rivalry and our the parents had to change the attitude okay so, as per the answer to the first question uh if yeah, this she is showing temper tantrum here and if she continues this behavior she her uh, peaceful days will be as affected and uh, teacher has got the correct 
done the correct thing uh, then she is uh, a five year old girl only it is not at all her fault it's not the it's normally what happens that punishment such things will be uh, done to her that things should not be done and it is to be investigated how how she, she behaves and uh, the, the, maybe sibling rivalry another thing i have uh, studied uh, it is because of adhd also adhd symptoms uh, it need not be temple uh, this temper tantrum but this uh, ca uh, can be uh, thought of adhd also uh, Sir, of school counseling extended to the family. Uh, sister, what is can I? Okay. Can I speak, sister? Yes, yes, speak. Okay. You now, just I was uh, observing what others. See other, that uh, you are eating video is seen, please. Okay, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Yes, can yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. See, I was I was observing all the participants uh, uh, making different statements of about Nisha. Um, I have made some other, and uh, from my point of view, what I observed is right. Number one, uh, the child is five years old, and Nisha is brought in a uh, better family. So when she there, there was no complaint from the parents or the neighbors that uh, she was naughty girl there. Mm -hmm. No. When she came to the uh, preschool, uh, school, uh, and it, she remained there for one year, and there was also no complaint. Mm -hmm. The complaint started when she has transferred to the another higher class. It shows that uh, that she is not getting what she is expected. Number one, number two, uh, she wants. She is very happy. Because uh, she has uh, become a little more aged girl, and she wants to play with her uh, classmates. So by playing the class, uh, uh, she may naturally come out her own habits, own uh, culture, own happiness. And it is because of this she has become a naughty girl, from my point of view. Number two, the teacher who complained about the ch child to the parents has to be observed very closely. Because she, I think from my point of view, she is not a child-friendly teacher. Because a child-friendly teacher means uh, she has to adjust with all the uh, little students. There may be some other uh, girls and boys uh, pushing themselves, falling down, and somebody crying, somebody is laughing, somebody is accepting their own way. So as a teacher, she should observe the students. Whether actually she is naughty, naughty girl, or whether she is uh, doing with the like that. So the teacher has to observe different, different acts, and if needed, we should give the proper training and proper guidance to the teacher. The other one, um, when the when the girls become happy, she may become naughty. That is a child psychology says because at home she is not getting that much of opportunity. To play with the similar uh, their uh, their age friends uh, their age friends, so when she gets a chance in school, she may become do a lot of things which uh, she is. Uh... Okay. Okay. Can I add? just add that in the case it's mentioned that the class teacher has called Nisha's parents to school. It's not written that she is complaining. She is just called the. Parents to school yes. to find out, maybe to discuss with the parents about what could be possibly wrong with the child for her to behave like this. It's not about the child; it's about the child's behavior. So yes. uh, she has called to discuss. That's what I feel from the what is written. Okay, sister. So, uh, okay, one more, just one more. Like the okay. problems that needing intervention, like all the others said, there's a family, there's a relationship problem, and parental attitude towards children. So I was wondering. Uh, being rude and throwing things can this be considered as a symptom for conduct disorder, or is it too early for a five-year-old girl to show symptoms like that? Yeah, uh, whatever you said, all of you could uh, observe and evaluate well. Correct. 
uh, you also mentioned uh, shared your yeah, possible reasons for such behavior okay and here uh, we have to look into the uh, problem areas and needing intervention so here we can apply the individual counseling for the child using pain therapy or any other techniques and of course family counseling also is needed here okay i think as uh, like this problems in even in our kerala most of the parents are facing this uh, even uh, during this days um, here uh, the girl is 5 year old girl and when she was uh, uh, at four uh, she started going to the school and by the time uh, she has a younger brother younger brother of course uh, naturally uh, and there can be if it is a boy a child or a girl child the younger one's parents care um, goes to the younger one and here is a boy a boy child of course uh, if parents are waiting for a boy child and the boy is born uh, naturally they will uh, maybe there, there, there will be more love and affection towards that child and of course uh, she is uh, just a 5 year old and a 5 year old girl or boy cannot um, logically understand or uh, uh, understand where why the parents are behaving like this or uh, uh, the parents are loving me and both loving me and my brother she cannot able to understand only she can understand the difference maybe in the beginning uh, she is only one, uh, one child and uh, she is the first child and parents uh, might have given more love and affection and gradually after uh, three years maybe uh, the boy uh, child born and of course uh, when she is uh, uh, at school uh, is a uh, behavior maybe conducted disorder and you know, we cannot say it is a maybe a disorder um, just a problem uh, problems are there in her behavior so we have to analyze we have to analyze we have to make an interview with her parents we have to observe the child in order to identify what is the real problem so uh, when a child when parents bring a child like this to you how you have to uh, deal with such cases you have to look into every aspect of the life maybe family family background the, the behavior of the child the the atmosphere in the school and what is the relationship with the child's uh, relationship with her teacher okay so anyway uh, you can uh, make uh, i'm confident now you can make better evaluation okay uh, congratulations so now we have finished one uh, younger adult or adult and one child so we have case Uh, number three, can anyone read out? Uh, before we move, I'm sorry, madam, to interrupt. Uh, yes, if you yes, don't mind, yes. can can you answer that second part? Do you think it is at fault or not? Uh, it is not. We cannot say it is at fault. It's a her uh, the child's behavior, not because of her. Uh, not because no, she is not uh, knowingly behaving. This one, it's not. Uh, she is not at fault. Thank you. the third case if an older uh, woman comes to you a problem with this a woman okay continue so can can i read can i yes yes yeah yeah a a woman 63 year old who has retired as a school teacher she lives with her husband their two sons who have work a working wife and two young grandchildren her husband is very supportive and helps in household chores one day suddenly the eldest son and his family leave the home of for good and knowing that the father has to have heart surgery in a week's time then the son comes to see her his father in the hospital after 8 days of operation the older woman is confused and dejected with regard to her son's behavior thank you okay and the questions 
uh, describe the turmoil in the old woman's life. First one, and the second one is why did the son leave the house? Write all possible reasons. Third one, what coping strategies would be appropriate for the mother? Okay, so you have to go through this paragraph, uh, the case, and uh, try to answer uh, to all these uh, three questions. Okay, you need five minutes or ten minutes? Ten minutes, madam. Ten minutes. Okay, okay. Ten minutes. So you come back after ten minutes.
are your facts? Yes, ma'am. Can anyone present the report? Yes, ma'am, shall I? Yes, yes. Uh, regarding the first question, describe the turmoil. Uh, that is mainly uh, the mother might be worried at a time of crisis why her elder son left home without any uh, explanation. And she might be worried about the financial needs of hospital expenses. So she might be a totally anxious about the, uh, all those things. And also, normally, uh, elder son will be more responsible in uh, case of the absence of father to handle all other family matters. So mother is worried about all those things regarding a house and uh, her husband. And coming to the second point, why did the son leave the house? Uh, son might be emotionally weak that he purposely stood away from the hospital scenario during the immediate post-surgical case. He, he didn't want to see his father in a uh, like hospital admitted, all those scenarios. Like some people might be very emotionally very weak and uh, they can't cope with the hospital situations. So he might have uh, purposely stood away. Then another reason, he might have earlier planned a migration, but he didn't discuss it with his parents. So everything happened, uh, it was a coincidence. Another possibility is his wife might be a possessive lady and she might have uh, forced him to move at that time of crisis so that they can avoid the financial things and all. Might be. We can't tell how the wife uh, behaves. And another, the third part is coping, uh, what, uh, coping strategies for the mother. That is, mothers normally are very flexible and they will forgive easily, especially with their children. So she can forget and forgive and behave as normal. Or else she can uh, talk to him and she can tell him what he did is wrong and then forgive him. Or she can show her anger to her son for leaving them at a crisis situation. Or uh, like uh, uh, if she is not allowing to see the father and all, then the situation will go more bad. So um, the main thing is to make the situation smooth, especially at a time of hospital case and all. Mothers normally prefer a peaceful life. So um, the best thing is forgive, forget, and behave as normal. Okay, good. Now, can uh, I hear from someone those who have not had to present it? Uh, can I, Varghi is here, madam. Can uh, I speak? Uh, no, no, no. Later, somebody else, somebody else. Can, can I speak, Varghi is here? No, no, no. Somebody else may speak. Shweta, oh. can I speak? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so I feel the turmoil that the old woman's uh, that is happening in their own old woman's mm -hmm. life is she's confused mm -hmm. with the changes that is happening. Uh, especially with her husband and also the son leaving the house. So she's not able to uh, adapt to the changes that is happening right now. The second is uh, the unmet expectations from her son. She might have expected something from her son and she's getting something. So she's confused in that way. So the third point is she might not be uh, able to accept the reality that okay my son is gone and my husband is ill so i have to take care of my husband first and then think about so my son so she's completely confused in uh, all these things uh, in the situation basically so that is the answer for my first question uh, second question um, as it says that he, the son has left the home for good. So that's why I think the son might have left the home because his home might be far away from his uh, workplace. So he might have got into a uh, home which is close by to his work. Or uh, he might have thought as the family is growing, they might need to shift to some place because the house is small. We have been living for a really long time there. So to give everybody some space they might have shifted uh, 
that's my point of view and the third uh, question that coping strategies would be uh, the first thing would be to make the mother aware of the reality and to um, make her understand basically and uh, also making her understand son's point of view with uh, by reducing the communication gap the son and mother can just sit down and talk to each other what is there in their mind um and the third point would be that um, they both the mother can engage in some other activities instead of thinking uh, negatively about something she can take care of her husband or um, you know cook some good things for her husband because he is in the hospital so something like that to do good instead of thinking a lot like negative thoughts so that is what i have written sister okay somebody else you i just add on to the third point if i may sister Okay. Okay. Uh, for, regarding the coping strategies, I would suggest that uh, that is there can be short term coping strategies. That is immediately she is confused, so how to deal with that? And but she needs to develop long term coping strategies. As she is a school teacher, definitely she is not illiterate, and she has she has gone out. She knows how to deal with people. She knows how to talk with others. So she needs to realize that. um these days we cannot expect our children to look after us to take care of us so because she is also only 63 years old she needs to develop coping skills that she, she is able to take care of herself and her husband even if the children are not there i think in this uh, changing uh, world that is very important i feel so she needs to develop that self reliance probably she has but because she is being living with the children for so long naturally she has been more dependent on them so emotionally and physically she needs to uh, develop that independent um, uh, coping skills that's what i feel it may take some time but over a period of time that is the best thing that all of us can do uh, can you suggest some of the coping strategies or coping skills that can be uh, appropriate for her Oh. coping skill the first thing is uh, that is learn to be independent it is mm. not having even small worries many many mothers tend to share even small worries or small small issues they tend to share with their children and they look up to their children to take care of their needs especially once they retire they feel that okay now we are aged we can't do anything so children should take care of us so uh, she can start with small small things say like um, uh, financial things small small things that is like just even going out and buying things deciding uh, what to buy deciding what to do about small small things she can start off with small small things and slowly 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 her confidence will build up and she can start doing uh, as her confidence builds up i'm sure that she'll be able to cope better especially as she is an educated woman she is she has been working as a teacher yes yes okay okay good uh, anybody Sister else Uh, those who are not that uh, spoken please while reading the, i remembered this is the story of my neighbor actually okay. <laughs> the same yeah. thing is going there two daughters mm -hmm. on laws are there they both mm -hmm. are working so the mother is doing the entire household job and look aftering the uh, uh, sick husband and the grandchildren who is very very young so obviously she itrem varsham she worked ഈ ജീവിതകാലം മുഴുവൻ വർക്ക് ചെയ്തു നൗ ഷീ സിക്സ്റ്റി ത്രീ അപ്പൊ ആ അമ്മയ്ക്കൊന്ന് ഇരിക്കാനാണ് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് പക്ഷെ ഡോട്ടർ ഇൻ ലോസ് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നു അപ്പൊ ടൈം ഇല്ല അവർക്ക് അപ്പൊ അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി കുക്ക് ചെയ്യണം എന്നാ അവരോടൊന്നും പറയാനും പറ്റുന്നില്ല മൂത്ത മോനെ വീട്ടിൽ നിന്ന് മാറ്റണം എന്ന് ആഗ്രഹമുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ മൂത്ത മോൻ മേ ബി ഹീ സെൽഫിഷ് സോ ഫാദറിന്റെ സർജറിക്ക് തൊട്ട് മുമ്പായിട്ട് പോയത് അതുകൊണ്ടായിരിക്കാം അപ്പൊ ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ മാറ്റർ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അമ്മക്ക് ബേസിക്കലി റെസ്റ്റ് കിട്ടുന്നില്ല സോ ആൻഡ് ഹൂ വാസ് ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് ഹെർ ഹൗസ് ഹോൾഡ് കോഴ്സിൽ ഹസ്ബൻഡ് ആയിരുന്നു ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നത് അപ്പൊ ഹസ്ബൻഡിന് സുഖം ഇല്ലാതായി സോ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾ ദിസ് ദ ടേം ഓയിൽസ് വിച്ച് ഷീ ഈസ് ഫേസിങ് കോപ്പിംഗ് സ്ട്രാറ്റജീസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിയുമ്പോ വേറൊരാളോട് നമുക്ക് സംസാരിക്കാം നമ്മുടെ സങ്കടം എന്റെ അവസ്ഥ ഇതാണെന്ന് പറയാം പിന്നെ എല്ലാത്തിനോടും അതായത് എനിക്ക് ഇത്രയല്ലേ വന്നുള്ളൂ ഇത് കൂടുതലൊന്നും വന്നില്ലല്ലോ എന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ചതിന് ഒരു പോസിറ്റീവ് ആറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ആക്കാം പിന്നെ അമ്മ കുറച്ച് സമയം കണ്ടെത്ത റിലാക്സ് ചെയ്യാനും ഒക്കെ ആയിട്ട് താങ്ക് യു വേഗം പറഞ്ഞേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇനി വേറൊന്നും ഇല്ല 
Okay, okay. So we have to see here. Uh, this uh, she is uh, sixty-three years old, and she is a retired teacher. So when you uh, come across with someone who is uh, retired from any job, so what will be their feelings? Uh, till then, uh, they were really active and engaged in their own work or job or profession, and after that, uh, you know. Uh, and then after even after the retirement she was happy uh, because of her husband and uh, two children grandchildren uh, all they were happy and uh, suddenly what happened uh, actually uh, here it is mentioned that uh, the um, older son uh, left home for good means just he didn't know that uh, he, his father was uh, sick one day suddenly they just uh, no you know Okay, okay. Knowing that the father has to have heart surgery, in uh, anyway, maybe because of that is a family issue uh, that happens even in our families too. Uh, now, what is the condition of her? Uh, the, the, the husband is sick, and the elder son is not there. And till then, all of them were together. Uh, so he have to evaluate the background of the family. And the, uh, especially the background of the retired uh, person, uh, and, uh, and now she uh, she may be feeling that she is helpless, uh, like handicap, you know. And uh, here you can suggest some uh, coping strategies for all retired people or senior citizens when you come across with someone. Uh, maybe uh, some of you can suggest. Some of you already shared here. Uh, of course, they can develop an, a positive attitude towards the life, you know, especially after the retirement. Even after the retirement, how can a person uh, get engaged? They can get engaged with uh, some social activities or household activities and uh, can uh, be part of a group or same age. Uh, they can uh, organize many things, you know, or, of course, uh, the uh, they can do yoga and uh, some other stress management techniques, you know. And they can, uh, uh, we can allow them to recall the past life, good things that they had done in their life. That will make them more uh, strong and uh, happy, you know. Okay, so uh, anybody wants to uh, add something? Are you Madam, she can, uh, uh, she can she uh, can open a tuition class for uh, neighboring children. Yes, yes, yeah. Since she was a, teacher. a retired teacher. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, ma one thing I will I will ask is: Is there any leadership of the family issues here? She, she, uh, he was uh, leading the uh, family chorus. We already told, and uh, when there was a problem in the family to him. The eldest son has to take the responsibility, but he evaded that responsibility. So her uh, love towards the son, uh, that uh, unconditional love, has got become a conflict with uh, the that. Uh, but he has not done his duty, eldest son. Yes. So that is the turmoil in her. So uh, that uh, he eldest son may have his own reasons. Maybe uh, uh, he may not be having money, or his money will be lost. Uh, family will not give. He has to uh, something else. Something like that. He, he cannot cope with the uh, wife's uh, wishes. So many things will be there, but it cannot be this leadership uh, consideration. It come. It's not be what you call uh, thought of like that. And uh, she can uh, what I say that understand the reality and. Uh, till the uh, husband recovers, she can uh, accept the, the leadership and do the all the things. But such things, and she can be engaged with the family. That is the coping factor. Yes, yes. And yeah, one more thing I would like. To... Attachment is also very important. I think many of us don't have the capability of doing that. So that is very important. That is, you need to have attachment, but at the same time become detached also so yes yes yeah become uh, independent uh, yeah uh, here we can see the entire uh, developmental stages here no and the, there are grandchildren uh, means the young adults are there senior citizens are there and uh, uh, after maybe two sons are there two of them are got married and they have children 
so it is natural naturally they have to uh, go uh, separate you know so it, this is the reality of the life so we have to we can make them understand this all happens in every everybody's family and uh, we uh, we can prepare them or equip them how to face all these things okay so here we have uh, discussed uh, three cases one is uh, uh, adulthood child and a retired person or an old age uh, now we can go to the tools while using the tools uh, there is a page number 22 important points to keep in mind while conducting the practicals or using the tools okay be sensitive to your respondents as some need more time to think about the questions uh, the tool is in english and you may be uh, conducting an interview with a person who is not that understanding are uh, not able to uh, understand things well so you have to give enough time for the person to answer okay and you can ask according to their language not <laughs> no need of using the same uh, terms okay uh, you can change the order of some questions during the interview depending on how the conversation between you and the respondent progress maybe the respondent can be the informant also page number 22 22 uh you should record or document responses that you gather in the interview for future references you can with their permission you can record audio excuse uh, me ma'am there is no page 22 in the book <laughs> i am using my 21 ma'am na na yes ma'am nothing is here page 20 is the page 21 okay page 20 page 21 page number 29 21 don't don't waste the concept nothing is there my is blank mine is blank rule is on page 29 page 29 29 i think it is page 29 yes 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 yes, yes. 29 and at 29 is the tool no yeah okay i am just it is blank uh, i am just it is blank uh, i am just speaking tool. up yeah while conducting the tools you can uh, be careful about these things or oh, some disturbance please mute your microphone Prasita, ma'am, can you please Prasita. mute? Yes, yes. Okay. While conducting the interview or using the uh, tools, you have to be careful about it. these things. Means be sensitive to your respondents. Or some need more time to think about the questions. The questions are uh, the person, the respondents, or the individual or the informant may not be able to understand whatever you ask according to the terms used here in the tools. Okay. So you can. Use according to your uh, means according to the respondent's language and understanding, and you can change the order of some questions during the interview. No need of uh, following the same order. Okay, uh, you should record or document responses. You can with their permission, you can record um, uh, the interview, or uh, you know, uh, along with the tools you have to. So have two tools. Uh, along with the tools, you have you should have some papers with you, okay, papers and pen, uh, because uh, um, apart from the questions or uh, in the tools, you can ask or you can add uh, or gather additional data or information. All that you can uh, document it or note down in a page. and you can of course uh, sometimes you may uh, forget the observation you make and uh, even that also you can not in the page okay uh then come to the page number uh, 29 tools page number 
think you also saw the same page. Tour one, case history taking of an adult. Have you got the page? Yes, sister. Okay. Uh, can anyone just uh, uh, go through, re read out the points? That is the told one. You can take the copy of this one from your manual. Uh, so from page 29 to... Background information of the patient. Yes, sir. 42. Okay. This is the told one. Case is the taking of an adult. Yeah, background information of a, of a patient. Of patient. Oh, okay, sister, if I may. Yes, yes. Yeah. First is background information of the patient. Date of assessment should be noted. Name, mm -hmm. age mm -hmm. of the patient or respondent. Yeah. Excuse me, not the real name. Okay, actual name yeah. should not be mentioned. Yeah. Okay. And then educational qualification, occupation, residence, family structure, whether it's a nuclear joint or other um, types of family. Other types means intergenerational, you mean? Uh, yeah, many other types. Okay. And then we have to next point we have to note down is the background information of the informant, name yes, of the yes. informant, relationship mm -hmm. of the informant with the patient, the length of acquaintance the informant has with the patient, the adequacy of the information, whether it's adequate or whether there are any gaps which needs to be filled, reliability of the information. That is very important because the informant may just blabber whatever yeah. he or she feels. Yes, yes. Maybe a partner or a father, mother or sibling, anyone. Next is specific information. Specific information comes under uh, four headings. One is the presenting complaints. That is the chief complaints uh, with which the patient comes uh, for help to you. That is according to the patient and according to the informant. Informant. Because why according to the patient may be different, according to the informant may be a different person. Next is the duration of illness. How long has the patient been ill? Do you have to mention the appropriate, approximate days, months and years? Yes. And precipitating factors, onset, whether it's been an acute illness or a gradual onset of illness and how has been the course of illness? Where there are, have there been times when the patient is unwell and have there been times when the patient feels better? Okay. So the onset, it's the acute or gradual means Maybe others are not uh, aware about it. Maybe all, 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 all on a sudden it happened, on a on fine day it happened, or gradually it happened. Uh, you, they observed the changes, just yeah. changes in the behavior or something. Okay. And to find out if such things have happened in the patient's life before the illness started, any, any critical events, any important events which have happened. The next is a family history. And here, as mentioned earlier, the family type, nuclear, extended, joint. I th we need to mention it once again. That is after. Yeah, I, I, I just we can take it. Okay. Okay. And then the socioeconomic status, upper, middle, lower. Then the family tree. Family tree means we have to write down the names of everyone. Yes. 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 In relationship to the patient. Isn't it? Just yes. Yes. You have to mention it here. You can write it. Okay. Madam, then, I have a doubt. Madam, I have a doubt. Okay. When we talk about the family tree, does it mean that we talk about the family whom, uh, with which the uh, with whom the patient is living, yes, or yes. we are talking about the whole family? If it is an old person, the the person will be living with one son, uh, and he'll be having more children around. So we should we mention uh, everyone here? Uh, uh, the uh, the present family. Or maybe uh, if the older person, uh, you can mention uh, how many children he has or she has, and their age and all. Of, even even in can... case of an even in case of an adult, what about the siblings? Siblings no need. Uh, if it if the person the adult is uh, married, uh, no need of mentioning the siblings. Okay. The next is the family interaction and communication. How well the family members are communicating with each other on a day-to-day -day basis, I think. And a family history of psychiatric illness. Okay. Even a, a, at least uh, in three generation, if they are having any uh, psychiatric illness. Three illness. Next comes a personal history. 
and this uh, in this we must include the date of birth place of birth the mother's condition during pregnancy which is very important and yes, may i say just one point here sister because we find yes, in many patients we find in many patients that uh, when uh, pregnant women are stressed during pregnancy uh, there are very, very many studies which show that the child can develop lots of behavioral problems anxiety depression and learning yes, disabilities etc so that yeah. you know, knowledge of that is very important then uh, whether the delivery of the patient occurred when um, the her mother was full term now full term means uh, this uh, completed 9 months of gestation for those who do not do not have a medical um, background and whether it's been preterm and whether it was a normal delivery whether it was a cesarean yes, yes. vacuum delivery etc then any delay in early development and milestones for example neck holding sitting walking talking etc if any has been noted by the uh, i think for this type we have to ask them uh, questions leading questions no sister yes 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 yeah yeah, yeah. and even just, additional questions you can ask yeah and then any neurotic symptoms in childhood like temper tantrums were present or not and if yes whatever they remember uh, and they mention we can write then any night terrors um, and any behavioral problems like tongue sucking nail biting etc then we can answer we can add that nocturnal enuresis also no sister nocturnal yes, yes. bed yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. and health during childhood if the patient has suffered any childhood infections or illness if yes please mention if there was any effect of illness on development so any uh, can we ask some leading questions because many of them may yes. not know many of them may not know that this particular illness may have caused yes. some uh, problems yeah yeah mm -hmm. You can ask. Yeah. You can ask, and you can note down okay. in a, a separate sheet. Okay. Yeah. If patient has suffered from any infantile convulsions, uh, convulsions means fits, epilepsy. Smart. 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 And then uh, school-related activities, special abilities, disabilities, performance in academics, the number of friends, relationship with peers, participation in co-curricular activities like drama, sports, etc., hobbies, interests, etc., then occupation. age of starting work ambition in life present job set the designation the approximate wages satisfaction in work the present economic conditions then if it is a female a menstrual history age of the first period the regularity of the period the duration of bleeding the amount of pain if present and sexual inclinations and practice sexual information whether uh, what is the knowledge uh, how much information they have about um, that sex sexual related uh, things and that is very much very less in our uh, group of sets of people and how the sexual information knowledge about uh, sex related matters is acquired whether it's from the internet whether they talk among friends or whether parents have, parents have um, yes. educated and masturbation and sexual fantasies these have to be asked specifically because no one will yeah. give our information we have to keep asking and for that the rapper has to be developed i think yes sir so of course before yeah. the interview yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and whether homosexual preferences are there heterosexual preferences are there yeah. or both hmm? yeah. Yeah. because many are having bisexual preferences these days and then uh, marital history the age of spouse if married occupation of the person the patient you mean sister or the spouse also uh when marital marital history uh spouse says what spouse says spouse is the individual say is all dimensional and occupation of the um, spouse no sister yes 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 yeah and personality of the spouse personality the spouse. as um, described by the patient Uh, this is of a, a spouse described by us spouse as described by the patient okay and the compatibility as described by the patient isn't it yes yes. yes 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 okay then pre morbid personality ask from the patient and inform it to describe his or her personality before the illness started like social relations with the family friends relatives societies workmates here we have to make two columns i suppose that is one what the informant uh, describes and one what the per, uh, patient describes fresh patient yeah okay. and then intellectual activities like hobbies interest memory observation judgment the mood of the patient 
whether it's bright, cheerful, despondent, optimistic, pessimistic, self-deprecative, satisfied, stable, unstable. Here, how can we assess, sister, the mood of the patient? That is, whether uh, always it's like that, sometimes, most of the times, never. Yes, yes, we can, we can ask and uh, at the same time we can uh, observe also. Yeah. Uh, we can ask them uh, how they feel about And uh, can we have a scale from 1 to 5 or something? Yes, yes, you can ask. Okay. Okay. Then character, attitude to work or responsibility, interpersonal relationships, standards in religious, social and health related matters. Fantasy life, frequency and content of daydreaming, habits, alcohol, then, uh, yes, pardon me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Habits, eating, alcohol con consumption, eating also, that is binge eating uh, is there for, for many persons. And emotional overeating also is an addiction similar to alcohol addiction and smoking addiction. So then self-medication, tobacco consumption, any drugs or any other habits. The more and uh, more and frequency of sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. sexual satisfaction. This yes, yes. Sexual satisfaction as yes, rated, that uh, rated as rated by the patient, isn't it, sister? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, then, and, yeah, and see, uh, for an individual, all these things may not be applicable. Yeah. Only whatever is applicable to the person, only you can note down. Other things you can just. Uh, uh, and not applicable in the niche. Okay. So we should we mention each point and say not applicable, not addicted to tobacco, not addicted to alcohol, or shall we just uh, uh, no, no, no response, yeah. Uh, not responded or something like that you can mention. Uh, but we have to mention all the points, tobacco, alcohol. Yes, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's not enough if we just mention that if the person is addicted to something, it's not enough if we just mention about that. We need yes. to mention about everything. Yeah. Okay, right. Yes. Okay. And then any contraceptive measures that have been followed? Like there are many different types yeah, of yes. contraceptive measures, like use of uh, male contraceptives, like condoms and for females, mm -hmm. oral contraceptive pills, and then yeah. copper tea and other methods, or whether any permanent uh, contraceptive methods like sterilization, male, female sterilization, etc. everything. All, all that you can add yeah. in, a, uh, yeah. in a different sheet. Okay. Yes. Because sometimes I would find my uh, add a point in between. Is it okay, no, sister? Uh, in this, uh, when you follow this questionnaire, you huh? can just, uh, whatever is asked here, you can uh, just uh, fill it up. No, oh, not me. Uh -huh. No, not about that sister. That is just if I um, add a point from one, one or two points from my experience, so okay, that okay, other can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, because about contraceptive measures, because uh, when it comes to relationship between spouses, sometimes yeah. there are sexual issues occur because the females are afraid of becoming pregnant. So many times yeah, yeah. after, especially after one or more, one or two children, they tend to avoid. Having such a relationship with husband. And when we dig in detail, then we find out that the female is afraid uh, of uh, bec uh, becoming pregnant. So, if there are contraceptive, long term contraceptive measures like copper tea or maybe sterilization, which has been done, then it makes it easier. And yeah, if yeah, of contraceptive measures which are used or the husband is not willing to use contraceptive measures or let the wife use any contraceptive measures, then also problems may arise. They may not be aware of that. Then, children. That, uh, yeah. Then, yeah, that will. That will affect the uh, marital relationship. Yeah, yeah, it, it affects a lot. It affects a lot. And children, uh, the chronological list of children and miscarriages that we have to note down. Yes, yes, yes. We have to ask in detail. Many times, patients may not remember whether how many abortions if they are yes. had also properly, and sometimes they may just overcoat it also because many times patients come and tell us, "I have had six abortions," and when we ask. Four of them might have been, they might have missed their parents for two or three days. The initial cartus might have been weakly positive and immediately after that they must have got their period. That's called biochemical pregnancy which cannot be considered as an abortion actually. It's not, uh, the gestational sac has not yet been formed. Just there has been just a little bit of implantation and then it doesn't grow any further. You cannot call it abortion per se. So we have to ask about all those things specifically. Then medical history, has the patient undergone any illness, any surgery, any accidents, any surgical problem, which may contribute to the mental health hmm? yes, yes. or ill health. If yes, please mention. And past psychiatric history, information about the patient's past psychiatry record, dates, duration, symptoms, diagnosis, 
treatment. Sister, uh, may I ask one question here? Was psychiatric alone or any counseling done for any issues? Any uh, visit to counselors, yes, psychologists? Yes, yes. You can you can mention. You can ask also. Because many times patients are reluctant to go to a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Especially yes. the social stigma is still there. Okay. Uh, the psychologist might have referred him or her to mm -hmm. a psychiatrist, but may not be go uh, gone. Yeah, and may, may, sometimes they may not want, they may not have gone to a proper counselor or a psychologist. Yeah. They may yes, have yes. gone to a counseling to some person, maybe in the society or in the family whom they have respect for. Yes, I yes. think we should maybe uh, to a priest or uh, yeah, uh, yes, 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 or something like that. Yes, yes, that they may not actually reveal as they have gone for counseling. So we need to ask whether they have got um, the help of someone in the family or in the society for some mental health issues or some anxiety or something. Otherwise, uh, we may miss out some important information. Okay, okay, thank you uh, for sharing. Okay. okay. And uh, now we have uh, the tool to mental status examination inventory for adults. Uh, can uh, excuse else? me, sister. Uh, excuse me, sister. Yes, uh, sister, uh, while uh, conducting this uh, this case uh, study and all, uh, while submitting this practical record book, uh, we have to write, uh, take this print out, and we have to write in it, and we have to submit in that. No, uh, no need of uh, writing with hand, right? Handwriting only. So uh, this printout cannot be kept in that. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, you have to use the printout. You have to attach the printout. Means so while conducting the interview, you can fill it. If it is possible, then and there you can fill it up. Uh, okay. And additional uh, uh, information you gather or note down that sheet also you have to attach. Yeah. And if it uh, is but in the... your mother tongue, you can. You have to translate it also. So, uh, yeah, okay, fine. But uh, this thing we have no need of writing again, no? This no tools again? No, no, no. But in the finding uh, session, uh, you have to uh, mention the now uh, based on the uh, two tools and the observation you made and whatever information okay. you gathered. Okay. okay. Maybe findings, okay. Uh, maybe one, one page or one page maximum. Okay. Can we make our own printout? That is not just print it out as such, but as I mentioned, sister, about the mood of the patient, intellectual activities, what the patient says, what the informant says. Can we make columns and then can we take a printout of that and then attach? Uh, no, no, no. You, you have to take the printout of a copy of the same tool. Okay, 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 right. Okay, okay. okay. That uh, that things you can may, uh, attach additional in additional shape. It's okay, okay, no problem. Whatever tools or whatever uh, methods or tests you add, you can attach it. But this tool should be as it is. Okay. So can anyone read out the second tool? This also you have to take the copy. And uh, when you uh, conduct an interview for adult, you have to. Um, that you have to ma yeah. Madam, sorry. Uh, yeah. Before we move on to the next one. Uh, there are, uh, is it that we have to go uh, A to Z or we can decide what to ask and what not to ask because there are a lot of uh, personal uh, matters, number one. Number two, uh, at this point of time during COVID and other things, like I don't know how many people will reveal all these things. So any comments, please? Yeah. Uh, first of all, before uh, conducting the interview, you must uh, make a rapport with the person. Okay, you have to uh, uh, develop the trust and the uh, confidence of the person. Okay, and then only if we are meeting the person directly and considering the COVID scenario, uh, whatever possible information you can gather, that's enough. That's the limitation of the case. Okay, madam. Thank you. Actually, uh, just want to extend the question by one more thing. Like uh, you initially started mentioning that there is a recent uh, uh, two-page uh, clarity on how to go about. And especially when it comes to uh, 005, it is very clearly stated that you can use a secondary data. That mm -hmm. means already somebody has done it and somebody has submitted it. You take mm -hmm. the data, but you don't write the same thing, but you can come out with your own title, your own interpretation, mm -hmm. but data gathering need not be done again. So whether such feasibility is there for 002 also? 
Uh, no, no. So, as far as to uh, this as of now, you have to use these tools and you have to conduct the uh, interview, and then only you can write the report. And Thank for you, for second year students, they have uh, uh, another option means for their uh, not for uh, all courses. Uh, for the internship and all, they can watch the uh, YouTube videos and uh, make an uh, analytical report. But for you, uh, you have to use all these things. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Okay. Sister, one point. One point, Vargi, sir. Suppose, yes, yes, can, you, can you hear me, sister? Yes, yes, I can. Uh, this, uh, it doesn't let you... Uh, Girl uh, with autism right from the birth, and now she is some uh, 25 years, and uh, uh, her mother is treating her overall. She is making only uh, different sounds for every purposes. No speaking. I and I want to take that case uh, for my his, this. Uh, uh, and in that case, her mother will. I will. I go to her, my, her mother, and she will tell her, is it everything about her daughter. Is it permissible or not? Yeah, that you girl can will make only the sounds. Informant. Yeah, you can ask the mother. Uh, yeah, what is some what is some girl? What is some? Okay. What is some girl? Now she's twenty three okay. years girl. Yeah, so yeah. What that you person, mean you have to make a case? Ah, uh, yeah. You can ask. No, can the, I ask? Yes, yes. Ah, uh, her mother. Ah, uh, her mother will give the different answers for all her. Right yes, from the yes, beginning no till this yes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. In that case, I can uh, interview her mother, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, please, somebody else can read out the mental status examination. Two, two. Shall I, sister? Of course. Yeah. I am reading it for the second time. Is it okay? <laughs> Nobody else is there, really. Uh, okay. So you can. Yeah. Okay, sister. Uh, so that is a general appearance of the behavior. That is the first thing. This comprises of a brief description regarding the pa patient's appearance, behavior, and manner of relating to the examiner. This helps to elicit any abnormalities that might be evident in the way the person appears and relates to the examiner. For example, a patient suffering from a psychotic episode may not be able to establish base on support with the examiner. He or she may look overdressed or untidy and may not cooperate with the examiner. So the uh, side heading is general appearance. Record the following observations. Um, I would, uh, I would, uh, I would uh, ask the sister to please stop me whenever I have to. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. The general appearance. Record the following observations: uh, physique of body fluid. I mean, body build. Sorry, body build. Yes. Approximate height, weight, appearance, which would include looks, comfortable and uncomfortable, the physical health. The kind of grooming, hygiene, self-care, which would all include that. Then the kind of dressing, which would, uh, in, whether it is appropriate, inadequate, or any other peculiarities. Then uh, non-verbal expressions, which he is carrying. Then the mood and effeminate, masculine. Uh, would you please explain that, sister? Uh, which one? Effeminate, masculine. It's uh, like uh, womanish. Uh, okay. Masculine. Uh, the, if the girl is uh, like, uh, giving like okay, a okay. manner of that. Okay, okay. So these things you then, should not ask them. You have to observe okay, but, while conducting the interview or while making a, a rapport with the uh, person. Uh, you can observe and do not doubt. What is effeminate? What is effeminate? Womanish. Ah, what is it? A man uh, behaving uh, like a woman. Oh. Yeah. Or masculine. Hmm. So which is whether it is appropriate or not. Okay. In the general appearance, 
I think there is a sound coming. Yes, sir. Atti attitude towards the examiner or the counselor. Mm -hmm. Is the patient cooperative, guarded, evasive, hostile, attentive, interested? Any other odd behavior? Mm -hmm. The the the, the, the is or she is operative or not or open or no? Then comprehension. Can the uh, patient understand your patient? Telephone. Telephone. Kinder. We have. We have. Parents. So. Can. Can. Are. Yeah. Telephone. Kinder. We. Are. You. Are. You. Are. Are. You. Are. You. Are. You. Are. You. അല്ലെങ്കിൽ <laughs> 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 Uh, autistic adult may be rare now. Yeah. So, I think we have to assess you particularly because we have to telephone you should be mentioned that uh, because uh, yeah. we could not see the patient directly only uh, uh, this much assessment could be done. Yeah, that suggestion you can add in your report. And in the, person, the last se uh, section, uh, personal uh, reflection, you can also add there. Okay, next. Comprehension. Can patient understand your questions? Intact, impaired, partially or fully? That comes under, that comes under, gen oh, that is a third side heading. Then fourth is gait and posture. Way of sitting, standing, walking, whether it is normal and abnormal. Then fifth one is motor activity. This is observed while interacting with the patient. Whether it is increased, decreased. Uh, whether there is any excitement or is there any stupor. Abnormal involuntary movements like ticks and tremors. Restlessness. Or is there any catatonic signs, mannerisms, stereotypes, posturing, waxy flexibility, negativism, ambitendency, stupor, and echolalia? Social. Then social withdrawal and autism. Those who are conducting the interview or uh, uh, submitting the practicals result to later, you can do it directly. You can uh, make the interview and uh, that time you can do it. Madam, I have a doubt, madam. If we uh, take the cases of autism, uh, will it be uh, actually, uh, can we do it really properly in, in adult and all? Is it good if we take such cases? If you are getting that such cases, you can also ask the informant, you know, the patient uh, may not be eliminated. You should not ask the per, per, patient only. You can ask somebody else at the family. Okay. Then uh, uh, under the motor activity, we can also, the compulsive acts, rituals and habits. Mm -hmm. Generally, the, these are things you can mention only if we are... Uh, are uh, doing it directly. You are, uh, you, you are able to observe. Sixth side heading is social manner with non-verbal behavior. Increased, decreased, inappropriate. Eye contact. Gaze aversion, staring vacantly, hesitant eye contact, normal eye contact. Can you, sir, ma'am, can you explain that uh, social behavior uh, with this one, non-verbal behavior, no, social manner with non-verbal behavior, increase, decrease, in total. Yeah, that is, uh, uh, if there is more or less. Non-verbal be behavior, it is told, huh? and yes, social sir. manner. So, 
what is this meaning non verbal means without uh, words you we have your uh, uh, body language again body, body language body language non verbal and uh, how can you connect with social manner uh, maybe like uh, dealing with uh, examiner or other uh, persons in family how they are uh, making or communicating each other or any okay 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 uh, okay understood this one uh, uh, showing how they, are, uh, how they uh, are trying to connect with the other person okay okay showing interest or uh, disgust or something like this by the body language is it increased yes, or decreased yes, or in the purpose yes. okay okay good the seventh side heading is rapport whether a working empathetic relationship can be established with the patient yes or no yes seven hallucinatory behavior ask the patient if she or he hears some voices in absence of any external stimuli or whether the family members notice the following kind of behaviors in the patient smiling or crying without any reason muttering or talking to self old gesturing in response to auditory visual factory stimuli tactile hallucinations mm -hmm. these are the things which come under the general appearance of the behavior mm -hmm. what you are aware about what is hallucination yes we had discussed it in detail during our 002 lectures Speech. then comes the speech during the interview observe the rate of speech new words being coined stammering and articulation problem the content of speech is also important to make diagnosis example a maniac patient will be over talkative and depressed patient will talk after a lot of persuasion you may record the rate of speech example fast or slow volume and tone of speech then first editing rate rate with quantity of speech observe the patient during the observe the patient during the interview for the following speech present or absent spontaneous speech yes or no productivity increased or decreased rate increased or decreased or appropriate pressure of pressure or poverty of speech second the volume with tone of speech on the basis of your interaction with the patient notice whether the speech is increased or decreased its appropriateness and the low high normal pitch of it third is the flow with rhythm of speech observe the patient speech whether it is smooth or hesitant sudden blocking derailment stuttering and stammering circumstantialities tangentiality word salad verbal stereotypy flight of ideas clang association would you please explain this sister yeah this speech is to be explained sister this one uh, <laughs> i am not understand okay uh, this is all if it is a, a depressed person we can understand that the speech may not be fluent the speech and uh, volume of uh, tone may be very low okay and uh, derailment means derailment what is that derailment of the train uh, must be that speech. is that means uh, derailment is he'll be talking about something and just going away from it yes. yeah from the track so the same thing like yes, yeah. okay okay yeah. sister uh, yes, come to this uh, spontaneous speech okay you understand productivity mm -hmm. is not understood right uh, also little bit uh, problem uh, pressure and pressure or poverty never understood uh, productivity means the fluency fluency of uh, speech fluency how fluent the person is uh, uh, talking uh, rate means the uh, means the number of words used uh, per minute maybe uh, repeated words are used or many words are used to get in uh, seconds that one that means uh, you are talking in speed and uh, le very less speed and uh, one thing is appropriate using that's, that's it. it yes yeah, yes yeah, yeah. 
वट इज प्रेशर प्रेशर और पॉवर्टी प्रेशर और पॉवर्टी स्पीच मीन्स देयर विद मच डिफिकल्टी द वर्ड्स आर कमिंग आउट और वी आर ट्राइंग मेनी टाइम्स एंड मे बी आस्क यू मेनी टाइम्स मे बी वन वर्ड इज कमिंग आउट Yeah, that means stammering means you are struggling to get. Stammering is different. Uh, no, no, that is different. Uh. Stammering and uh, stuttering are different from pressure or poverty of speech. Here, uh, pressure or poverty of speech means the person uh, may not be having the stuttering or stammering. Maybe uh, that we have to understand whether because of this or or uh, the person is not able to talk fluently. Now poverty means you are not getting words to tell. Uh, you yes, can yes, say that yeah. it is poverty. Pressure means you you are uh, pressured to tell something. Once you are forced to tell something, and you expect to uh, impatient uh, like it. Yeah, after after forcing only the person is uh, uh, able to say something. Oh, that is same as poverty, na? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's why okay. pressure or poverty. Or poverty. Okay. 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 then circumstantiality including irrelevant details and uh, returning to the point uh, we will not we may not get this the person may be going um, uh, from subject to another subject but uh, later the person will come back to the point uh, tangentiality means responding to the topic being discussed but not answering the question posed you you asked something and he will be talking about this and that but you will never get the answer for the question that is tangential what salah the incoherent mixture of words is and there is no meaning or no sentence simply uh, speaking something else some words without any connection or any meaning that's what salah verbal stereotyping means repeating similar words again and again Flight of ideas, shifting from one idea to the next. Because we are, you are not going to conduct uh, this interview with the normal person. Plan association, thoughts associated with the sounds rather than words, like samba, band, lang, tan. Just to focus on the uh, sound, not the words. Okay. Mood with effect. Okay. After uh, general appearance and speech, we go to the mood with effect. Inquire from patient how her or his mood is usually. This helps to elicit the emotions felt by the person cross-sectionally and over a period of time. Example: A patient suffering from a depressive episode may describe his predominant feeling as of sadness and appear as feeling depressed. Mood. What is the difference between mood and effect, or mood and emotion? mood is the internal persistent feeling whereas effect is how we demonstrate it physically or outside yes sir what is the subjective experience and the uh, effect is expressed we can others can observe shall i continue yeah continue please mood pervasive feeling tone which is sustained total experience of a person observe and inquire the patient about the following quality of mood subjectively how do you feel objectively by examination second one the stability of mood over a period of time how the mood is changing third one reactivity of mood variation in mood with stimuli whether there is any difference in mood when the stimuli is changed is it sister yeah. The, uh, the presence of a uh, different stimuli, whether it is mood is changing and what is the okay. uh, response. Then the persistence of mood, the length of time the mood lasts. Those are things which we uh, inquire about the mood. Then about the effect, emotion at a given time. Based on your readings regarding the characteristics of the descriptors below, observe whether the patient's demeanor reflects the following first thing the quality of the effect second range of effect of emotional changes displayed over time then depth or intensity of effect whether it is normal increased or blunted 
then fourth one appropriateness of effect in relation to thought and surrounding environment then sister i think uh, is next page is anxiety is it Where? my page it is written anxiety depression and schizophrenia am i yeah, missing right. some pages yes. my right. right. but yes, i think good i think the number is different that is why i i had a confusion in that okay uh, that those are the things which we uh, consider anxiety depression and schizophrenia many also many many is written yes not yes. in my book you can add so some things are missing Madam, i think after Madam, four it is written six is That is six only. Four. My book also is six only. I think five is mania, right? Yes, yes. Five is mania. Maybe uh, you are missing. Okay. Uh, something is missing here. Mania, mania. Then, mania, anxiety, depression, and schizophrenia. For mania, you can uh, uh, measure euphoria, elation, exaltation, ecstasy. Okay, euphoria. Which one is present? Okay. Euphoria, elation, exaltation, uh, ecstasy. Okay. And anxiety, anxious or restlessness. What is exaltation? But euphoria is, uh, I know. It's uh, uh, like symptoms of mania. Exaltation means the exalted feeling, uh, like in our life. I get a weird na, a feeling. That is And euphoria also same. like that now. Euphoria same yeah, now. All, almost the same because manic yeah. person's uh, behavior is like that now. Uh, he oh. is uh, energetic, talkative, and uh, feeling good about himself. Hmm. Almost similar words. Okay, okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. It's all about uh, elevated feeling. Hmm. Okay. After mood with affect feel. um inquire about the thought it helps to elicit the patient's thoughts and ideas as well as communicates their attitude towards various aspects of their life example a patient suffering from psychosis may express that other persons are plotting against him or that the newspaper and tv sets are broadcasting his thoughts that is the first uh, comes from the mis delusion delusion there is a sound sir please mute uh, under the thoughts the first uh, under the thought uh, heading this first side heading comes stream and form of thought based on the way the person verbally interacts with the examiner the following observation regarding the thought can be made spontaneity which is uh, whether spontaneity is present or not productivity uh, present or not uh, flight of ideas flight of ideas is shifting from one idea to the next whether it is present or not then prox prolixity ordered flight of ideas whether it is uh, present or not poverty of content of speech uh, present or absent uh, thought blocking sudden dis disruption in flow of thought present or absent continuity of thought present or absent relevant to question asked yes or no madam proxy prolixity prolixity is uh, using an excess of words uh, more words using more words or maybe for one thing you are uh, he, the person is asking for using more words excess of words using so so words. these are these are things which we elicit about the thoughts no yes yes yeah, i could not relate it Now, uh, what is there in the mind? What what I think that is comes out from my mouth is like a speech. What is going on in my mind? What is my thought? That will be my expression of uh, thought. What I talk, thought and okay. expression. Yeah, language. Observe the following behavior in the patient: any loosening of association, tangential circumstantialities. illogical thinking preservation and variegation variegation 
Variation means the diversity or various various things are present. Various thought. These are all things you have to observe. Thought we can observe only, but how we can observe thoughts uh, from the uh, emotion, as from the how he thought it, from the from the speech and from the uh, facial expressions. So observation is very really important here. I don't think this could be done on phone. We will have to do it yeah, personally. Yeah, really, 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 yeah. You try your maximum according to if you are not submitting now uh, before June term and exam, you can do it later. Okay. Second thing uh, coming under thought is the content of thought. Obsessions, whether it is present or not. Contents of phobia, whether present or not. Delusion, present or not. Overvalued ideas, present or absent. Observe the following contents in thoughts of patients. Ideas of persecution. Excuse me, sister. Uh, is there any need of reading each and everything in this pages? Because we can understand it by uh, it is time is already 12.15. No? Uh, so many more pages are there. Okay. So any doubt? Means we, can, uh, we can refer the, uh, if some words are not clear means we can refer a dictionary or not or otherwise we can contact or we can ask in a group or like uh, we can ask no each and yeah, every so word have, it, will be, it will take lots of time. Yeah, some may not be understanding this all things. No, it's okay. Uh, I have no problem. Uh, now by the time you are uh, maybe able to understand what is the tool, how you are to make that uh, interview. Okay, if it is not something not understanding, then for a first ask somebody oh, else or a Yes. And anyway, uh, before you conduct your uh, interview, you should have these two tools with you. So, so I will doubt you, okay, sister. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Danish. ോ <laughs> നമ്മളൊരു ഇന്റേൺഷിപ്പിനൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ഹോസ്പിറ്റലിലൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ പോയി ചെയ്യുന്ന സമയത്ത് നമ്മുടെ മുമ്പിലേക്ക് ഒരു കേസ് വരികയാണെങ്കിൽ അവരുടെ കാര്യങ്ങളെല്ലാം നമ്മൾ എം എസ് സി ചെയ്യുന്നത് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ നോക്കിയിട്ട് അങ്ങനെ നോക്കുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളായിട്ടാണ് എനിക്കിത് മുഴുവൻ തോന്നുന്നത് അല്ലെ സിസ്റ്റർ അപ്പോഴല്ലേ നമുക്ക് കൂടുതൽ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ കഴിയുള്ളൂ ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മളിപ്പോ ഫോണിലാണെങ്കിലും അടുത്ത് പോയി ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ചെയ്യാൻ ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ചെയ്തിട്ടാണെങ്കിലും ഇത്രയും ഡേറ്റ കിട്ടാൻ നമുക്ക് ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടാവുന്ന തോന്നും പിന്നെ എല്ലാ ഡേറ്റയും എല്ലാവർക്കും ആപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ആവണമെന്നില്ല ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് അല്ല ആപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ആയത് മാത്രം നിങ്ങൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്താൽ മതി ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ഇപ്പോ സബ്മിറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ പോസിബിൾ വേസ് കണ്ടക്ട് ഈ ടൂൾസ് തന്നെയാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് സെക്കൻഡ് ഇയറിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ആവശ്യം വരും ഈ ടൂൾസ് തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇന്റർൺഷിപ്പ് മറ്റ് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ഒക്കെ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് ഈ ടൂൾസ് തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കേണ്ടതുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ ഇതിന്റെ ബാക്കി കാര്യങ്ങൾ നിങ്ങൾ ജസ്റ്റ് പോസ്റ്റു ദൻ വൺസ് അഗൈൻ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് എനി ഡൗട്ട് വിത്ത് ഹോമാൻ ഹൗ ടു റൈറ്റ് ദ കേസ് റിപ്പോർട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ ആസ് ദ ഡൗട്ട് അതില് ഫാമിലി ടൈപ്പ് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയത് ഇപ്പോ ന്യൂക്ലിയർ ഫാമിലി ആണെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ എന്റെ വൈഫ് എന്റെ മോൻ എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് ഫാമിലി മീൻസ് ഞാൻ എന്റെ വൈഫ് എന്റെ മോൻ എന്റെ അച്ഛനും എന്റെ അമ്മയും ജോയിന്റ് ഫാമിലി ആണെങ്കിൽ എന്റെ കുടുംബവും പിന്നെ ഇപ്പൊ ചെറിയച്ഛൻ വലിയച്ഛൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മാമന്മാര് അങ്ങനെ പണ്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്ന കൂട്ടുകുടുംബ വ്യവസ്ഥ ഒത്തിരി ഫാമിലീസ് ഒന്നിച്ചു നിൽക്കുന്ന കൂട്ടുകുടുംബം ഇതല്ലേ മാം ഇതിന്റെ 
അതെ അതെ അപ്പൊ അച്ഛനും അമ്മയും പിന്നെ ചെലപ്പം അച്ഛന്റെ പെങ്ങളോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ആരെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ ഫാമിലിയിൽ ഉണ്ടാകാം So, uh, are you clear with the format to be used for doing uh, and writing down the report? Yes, so, uh, yes. Yeah. There is a general appearance <coughs> on the physique of body build. It says approximate height, weight and appearance. What does it mean in the appearance? What do we write there? Number? The first well part. Built. General appearance. Well built. Is it like that, sister? Uh, yes, yes. I was not clear. I, can you repeat it, please? In the first general one, appearance. the general appearance. It okay. says, record the following observations. The seek of yes. body build. Approximate mm-hmm. height, weight. That is okay. But what do we put down in appearance? Appearance, how, uh, whether it is uh, the person is neat, neat and tidy or good. Okay. means appearance looks comfortable and comfortable or uh, physical health how is it oh, okay then. thank you so, okay the format when we come back to the format uh, title aim objectives method under method subtitle materials used and for child and adolescent uh, separate tools for adult and uh, older persons uh, separate tools uh, sample uh, who is the sample that one and, uh, male or female ad- uh, adult or child or person that you mention and then procedure how you did it then findings uh, in the findings section you have to attach the both tools as it is you have filled up and then the the not you have made during the interview and then uh, findings based on the tool tools and observation madam which page number i came at page 26 27 okay thank you this is the format you have to follow to in writing your report okay and findings based on the interview observation you have to uh, make the findings then uh, comes to the analysis and discussion based on the findings and result of um, is the questions tools and the observation or and all other information you have to make the analysis and discussion and then you are coming to a conclusion or you are making a provisional diagnosis Uh, whether it's this uh, uh, delusion or uh, schizophrenia or depression and such a disorder whatever may be so according to dsm 5 what is it according to icd 10 what is it and then uh, later you have to mention the criteria according to dsm 5 or 4 what is schizophrenia and what is uh, IC, according to icd 10 what is schizophrenia and what type of schizophrenia okay then reflections uh, so the inclusion uh, first one cover page in the cover page what all things should be added mentioned yes you had mentioned madam yeah uh, the the this one mm-hmm. so supervised practicum file for the course mcftl 002 that's a applicable for all practical file submission uh, there should be a cover page mentioning the title and your name your enrollment number and the face sheet face sheet also is given and uh, then there should be an index page index madam page. Uh, uh, when we come to the sender can we see a model of a submitted practicum there when we come just to see that how it is <laughs> will it be available there yeah but here there is no models we we will send it post to the uh, delhi you know so we okay. are not here no practicals are available no because they will uh, you have to send it post to delhi 
no problem. We directly no. send it to Delhi, right? Yeah, first you have to go to your academy counselor for the uh, first correction you can make uh, online means uh, through WhatsApp or email. After getting the correction, you have to make the final uh, file means a record, a hard copy. Then go to your academy counselor, get the signature and internal uh, mark. Then come to the study center. Study center uh, for the coordinator sign and see. Then you can post to the Delhi. And after that, of course, after all uh, internal uh, exam evaluation and uh, the sign and sale of the study center, you have to make the uh, PDF copy of the entire file. And that should be with you. And we do not know how you have to uh, submit it. Last year, towards the end, they asked to send it by, uh, asked to upload it in a given link. Sometimes they may ask it. So you have to prepare it. Prepare for it. Okay. And then? Ma'am, ma one more doubt, ma'am. Yes. Is any deadline for submitting this practicum? Because getting the, getting the signature of each academic council is difficult, no? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as of now, there is no deadline. Okay. Uh, but we do not okay. have to check check it with the uh, uh, website. You know, website. Okay. 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 And if if you, you may not be able to complete all the practical files or practical work, if you are completing at least one or two, or only okay. the mini research, you can submit it. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, so before appearing the examination, if, if, if in my case, if I am supposed to appear the examination for uh, the June, so sh shall I submit everything before before the examination? No, 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 no. Uh, for the examination, only assignment is needed. How many purpose you are okay, writing? Okay. According to that, if you are writing only two purpose, okay. you, you can submit only two assignments. If you are, if you want to submit all five assignments, it's okay. You can, uh, you can submit all assignments, but you can write only two or three uh, courses papers. Okay, okay, ma'am. Uh, one more, one more thing. It's not appropriate to ask uh, right now. What about the mini research? Because I am still Madam, confused is there with anything this. more in today's session in the four. Uh, yeah, uh, today's session. Are you uh, comfortable? Are you? Um, any, if you have any doubt regarding MCFTL 002 and the submission, you can ask. Sister, can we uh, transfer this uh, tools into the Word file and can take the printout? Yes, yes, of course not. And that can be attached to the practicum file, right? Yes, yes, yes. Along with that, we have to write all the questions and answer, right? Yeah, this, uh, file, uh, this tool as it is, you can... Uh, then and there, you can fill it there and then and there uh, during the interview. And additional information or whatever you are observing, you can note it down on a separate sheet. Okay. Yeah. Along with that, we have to write uh, all the questions and answers by hand, right? Yes, yes, only handwritten. Oh. Okay, yes. so that we can write the printout in the Word format. Yes. Not yes, necessary to take the photo set of this tool. Yes, yes, you can. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, sister. Sister. Hmm. sister. Hello. Yes, yes. Sister, ah. Can we use the, I think for adults and for old age persons, the format remains the same for case history and uh, mental status, right? For adult, yes, yes. Adults and old age. Old age, same. Ah, okay, only for children it is tool 3 and tool ah. 4 that we should use. For, for children and adolescents. Ah, okay, sister. Excuse me, sister. Um, sister, yes. uh, only for findings we have to write handwritten, right? What we'll be taking on the spot. Everything. Other, everything oh. handwritten, but uh, yes. we were asked to do PDF file, right? To uh, send it ah. for correction okay. and everything. Yeah, that is, you can take the photo of that and send to the, uh, this one, the academy counselor. Only okay, handwritten, so everything. Entire um, 
practical should be hand written yes yes okay, except okay. to the mini research except to the mini research oh okay okay sister thank you yeah. also you have another one more practicum means the uh, uh, sirasura 8 so for sirasura 8 there will not be any classes because the one who was taking uh, she has got another higher job so not able to take Uh, but if you want, you can. I can give you one or two models, and then you can use that. And uh, that is a reflection paper now, so you can go through that, and uh, you can uh, submit to me. Zero zero eight. Okay. So you will have class on zero zero three class. You uh, hopefully on May first, you will have the class one session for zero zero three. Uh, sister, excuse me, sister. One more doubt. Mm. Uh, we were discussing mental examination of uh, adult after the case uh, history of uh, tools. Uh, that section. So, mm -hmm. if the patient is, uh, I mean, many questions were either uh, concerning a mania or uh, mild. So, if the patient is not in the both the ends of the spectrum, if they are undergoing treatment and uh, not in a either the lower spectrum or higher spectrum how do we record that in our comments uh, according to your observation and according to the uh, information gathered from the informant because many questions there were uh, either it is a mania patient or uh, like that so we can say that's only one section that uh, uh, other other things also you can what is applicable to the particular person only you need to fill it up uh, consider other things if so can not applicable you can mention that it cannot be applicable for okay. okay. you can mention it there സിസ്റ്റർ സീറോ സീറോ ടു പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽസിൽ നമ്മൾ മൂന്ന് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽസ് അല്ലേ ചെയ്യേണ്ടതുള്ളൂ അതെ അതെ എല്ലാ പ്രാക്ടിക്കലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മൂന്നെണ്ണമാണ് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് അത് അത് ക്ലാസ്സുകളിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ഓക്കെ സിസ്റ്റർ അപ്പൊ ഈ മൂന്ന് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽസ് നമുക്ക് ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള മൂന്നെണ്ണം ചെയ്യാമോ അതെയോ അതിനെന്തെങ്കിലും ക്രൈറ്റീരിയ ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള ഞാൻ തുടക്കത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞ ഇഷ്ടമുള്ളതല്ല ഒരു അഡൽട്ട് ഓൾഡ് ഏജ് ആൻഡ് ചൈൽഡ് അഡോളസെന്റ് അപ്പൊ ഈ മൂന്നെണ്ണം വിധം ഓരോന്നിന് ചെയ്യണം ഓക്കെ പക്ഷെ അതിന്റെ ഈ ഫാക്ട് സബ്ജക്ട് മേത്ത് കഴിച്ച ബാക്കി എല്ലാം സെയിം പ്രൊസീജിയർ അല്ലേ എല്ലാറ്റിലും സെയിം അല്ലേ ഒരെണ്ണം വെരിഫൈ ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഓക്കെ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ വി ക്യാൻ ഫോളോ ദ സെയിം ഫോർ അതർ ടോപ്പിക്സ് ആൾസോ എഴുതണ്ട നമ്മളൊരു മെന്റലി ഇൽ പേഴ്സൺസിന് ആണ് ഡീൽ ചെയ്യുന്നെങ്കിൽ Bah, mentally ill patients already he is under the treatment of a psychiatrist. In that case, as a tool, whether we can contact that particular doctor or provided he is permitted to ask certain questions about that patient and then yes, whether he can record it. The, the doctor may not be free to ask you all questions. No? You can ask the informant. Or informant only, yeah. Family. Uh, uh, yeah, your family member, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. and we can record this also if he is permitting is it the doctor permitting okay you can write this, these are the certain general factors about the patient yes, in that yes, case like we can, can make it a tool okay, okay. you can mention it in your report okay 
ഒബ്സർവ്ോ <laughs> 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 Uh, copy it to a Word file, you can print it out. In fact, printing okay. out to Word, you have to mention the name. You can uh, write it. Okay, okay. In the last practical class, you have to write it by hand and you have to print it out to Word file. That's why I have to write it in the next class. That's why I have to write it in the next class. അതായത് ഏത് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ആയിരുന്നു സീറോ സീറോ ഫോർ ആണോ വൺ ആണോ എനിക്ക് ഓർമ്മയില്ല സിസ്റ്റർ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു എഴുതവും വേണം പ്രിന്റ് എടുക്കവും വേണം ടൂൾസ് ആ ടൂൾസിനെ കുറിച്ച് എനിക്കല്ല പക്ഷെ ടൂൾസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഫില്ല് ചെയ്യേണ്ട ടൂൾസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ അത് അങ്ങനെ തന്നെ വെച്ചാൽ മതി അത് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ആണ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ റഫ് റഫ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ വെക്കാനാണ് റഫ് നോട്ട് അത് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ എഴുതവും വേണം ടൂൾസ് എഴുതവും വേണം പ്രിന്റ് എടുക്കവും വേണം റഫ് നോട്ടും വെക്കണം എന്നാണ് എനിക്ക് മനസ്സിലായത് അതെ എന്നാ സിസ്റ്റർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ്റ്റ് സിസ്റ്റർ അങ്ങനെ തന്നെയാ പറഞ്ഞത് അതായത് പ്രിന്റ് എടുക്കും വേണം പിന്നെ കൈകൊണ്ട് എഴുതും വേണം എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞായിരുന്നു റഫ് നോട്ട് വെക്കണം റഫ് നോട്ട് വെക്കണം പ്രിന്റ് എടുക്കണം പിന്നെ കൈകൊണ്ട് എഴുതണം ടൂൾ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു അതുപോലെ വരയ്ക്കണം ഞങ്ങൾ എന്നിട്ട് ഞാൻ എന്നിട്ട് ഇൻഫാൻസിയുടെ ആ ഫോർട്ടി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് അത് മുഴുവനും എഴുതി ചാർട്ട് വരച്ചു പറഞ്ഞ മൂന്ന് കാര്യങ്ങളും വേണം എന്ന് നമ്മുടെ ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻസില് വളരെ വ്യക്തമായി പറയുന്നുണ്ട് പ്രിന്റ് ചെയ്യണം ഹാൻഡ് കോപ്പി വെക്കണം എന്ന് യു ഗോ ത്രൂ ദ ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻസ് വിച്ച് എന്റെ ബുക്ക് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ആൾറെഡി അവൈലബിൾ വിത്ത് എസ് വെരി ക്ലിയർലി സേസ് ടൈപ്ഡ് മാറ്റർ നമ്പർ ടു ഹാൻഡ് റിട്ടൺ മാറ്റർ ദൻ റഫ് മാറ്റർ ഓൾ ദീസ് ബി ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഫയൽ very clear uh, the, uh, yeah uh, for me according to the sir sir to ee tool ningale print edukka print edukka word il print edukka photocopy edukka cheyidu aa word form il ala aa copy il paper il ningale write cheya for example um uh, general appearance record the following observation physics body build approximate height by why you can write weight uh, 42 you can write 42 then aa eldiya tools angana thanne ningalku attach cheya pinne ningal attach cheyana njan parannallo ningal additional information or observation made ningal note cheyana aa note cheyada kaariya aa aa sheet sheet of sheets you can attach okay thank you clear clear ഇൻഫോർമന്റിന്റെയും <laughs> സിസ്റ്റർ ഈ ടൂൾസ് നമ്മൾ ഫില്ല് ചെയ്തത് ഫൈൻഡിംഗ്സ് എന്നുള്ള ഹെഡിങ്ങിന്റെ ഇടയിലല്ലേ നമ്മൾ ഇത് അറ്റാച്ച് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ഇത്രയും ഡൗട്ട്സ് ഉണ്ടാവുന്ന കാരണം ഒരു സെറ്റ് ഈ ചെയ്തതിന്റെ ടൂന്റെ ഫോറിന്റെ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു സെറ്റ് പ്രാക്ടിക്കലായി ഇവിടെ കാണിക്കാൻ പറ്റുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഐ തിങ്ക് നയൻറ്റി നയൻ പെർസെന്റ് ഡൗട്ട്സ് കാൻ ബി ക്ലിയർഡ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ 
uh, for uh, 2021. I I will be writing here. Uh, okay. okay. So and the name, not the actual name, pseudonym. I can write age 45. I can write it. So that page as it is, you have to attach. Okay. Understood? Okay. Just, uh, that part is clear now. <laughs> And then what else? So you have six practicals, okay? Six practicals and five uh, theory papers and five assignments. Reflective journal is not a Reflective journal is a so you will be getting an idea about it. സൂപ്പർവൈസറിന് <laughs> 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 Uh. Okay, now you have finished all, uh, except 003, all classes are over. 001, okay. CFTL 001, that is uh, uh, Sister Veena. Uh, MCFTL 002, that is uh, me. Uh, 3, that will be uh, Shimil sir. 4, uh, Sister Veena. Another Sister Veena. Okay. And uh, five Libby men, Libby. Uh, eight to eight, that one, that is zero, zero, eight, you have to submit to me. My name. And you have got everybody's phone number, you can ask directly their email. Email ID. And uh, those who want to email uh, this one. You can ask, otherwise, what support so is okay. So, the official name is Mini Kurula. Mini Kurula, there is no Stella Rose, only Mini Kurula. Okay. Clear? Madam, one doubt uh, okay. is uh, zero, zero 005. First and last class, as far as SP is concerned, or are you going to go ahead with uh, one more uh, class? This afternoon, no? Again, we'll be continuing uh, 002 only in the afternoon? Uh, 002 finished, only one session. Only one session. Oh, yeah, so yeah, if only that is the now case, you can contact me individually. Okay, if that is the case, can you please uh, think about 008 also? One class? <laughs> So eight, okay. uh, yeah, uh, uh, because of the lack of time. If, possible, if it is feasible, if it is feasible, please try. Otherwise, yes, no problem. Yes, yes. Otherwise, uh, I will uh, definitely I will uh, give one or two models. So in the rough record also, we need to mention everything. We need to write everything or uh, only the salient points or important points which needs correction. Because if you have to write everything again from the beginning for the fair record, that's going to take a lot of time. So I'm just asking. Just you make one uh, rough record. Okay. Uh, one. Okay. one. Yeah. okay. Uh. So uh, if that is okay, you can carry out with the other two cases. Okay. Okay. And the other two, we can mention the important points alone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sister. Sister, 
വെറും നോർമൽ കേസ് എടുത്തിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ഒരു ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ കിട്ടില്ല എന്തെങ്കിലും കാരണം നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണല്ലോ ആ പഠിക്കാൻ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ അത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ഒരു ആരെങ്കിലും അവൈലബിൾ ആയിരിക്കും ഇഫ് എന്തെങ്കിലും പ്രോബ്ലം ഉള്ള ആരെങ്കിലും എന്തെങ്കിലും ഡിസോർഡർ സിക്നെസ് ഉള്ളവർ അവൈലബിൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ യു ക്യാൻ ബട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ആ റിപ്പോർട്ട് എഴുതുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങളുടെ പേഴ്സണൽ റിഫ്ലക്ഷൻ എഴുതുമ്പോഴൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അവിടെ മെൻഷൻ ചെയ്യാം ഈ ഒരു സിനാരിയോയില് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇത്തരം സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്കിത് ഇത്തരം കാര്യങ്ങളെ പഠിക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിൻ്റെതായ ഇൻഫ്ലേഷൻ ഉണ്ടെന്നുള്ളതൊക്കെ മെൻഷൻ ചെയ്യും എൻസൈറ്റി ഡിപ്രഷൻ ഒക്കെ ഒരുപാട് പേർക്ക് ഉള്ളതാണ് ഇപ്പം എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നില്ല എല്ലാരും ഒരുവിധം എല്ലാരും കുറച്ച് ഒരു ഏത് വീട്ടിലായാലും എവിടെയാണെങ്കിലും നമുക്ക് ഈവൺ കുട്ടികളുടെ ഇടയിൽ പോലും ഒത്തിരി നമുക്ക് കേസസ് കാണാൻ സാധിക്കും സിസ്റ്റർ നമ്മൾ ഈ അഡീഷണൽ എഴുതുന്ന എല്ലാ മാറ്റേഴ്സും എ ഫോർ സൈസ് പേപ്പറിൽ എഴുതിയാൽ മതിയോ അതായത് ഇന്റർവ്യൂന്റെ സമയത്ത് നിങ്ങൾ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ എക്സ്ട്രാ നമ്മൾ വെക്കുന്ന ഇൻഫോർമേഷൻ എ ഫോർ പേപ്പറിലാണോ എന്നിട്ട് ഇതെല്ലാം സ്പൈറൽ ബൈൻഡ് ചെയ്യണ്ടേ എ ഫോറിൽ എടുത്താൽ മതി സിസ്റ്റർ നമ്മള് പ്രീവിയസ്ലി എടുത്തൊരു കേസ് നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ മീൻസ് ഞങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ ഇന്റേൺഷിപ്പിന് കുറച്ച് സൈക്കാട്രിക് കേസസ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വെക്കാൻ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഇതുപോലെ തന്നെ മെന്റൽ സ്റ്റാറ്റസ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഒക്കെ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്ത് അപ്പൊ ആ ഒരു കേസ് നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ലല്ലേ വി ഹാവ് ടു ടേക്ക് അണ്ടർ അത് ആ കേസ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ കയ്യിൽ ആണെങ്കിൽ ഇരിക്കാൻ യൂസ് ആയിട്ട് ഓക്കേ സിസ്റ്റർ ഞാൻ കുറച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞ ഏതാണ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഏത് ഇന്റർൻഷിപ്പ് ആണ് ഏത് ഇന്റർൻഷിപ്പ് ആയിരുന്നു ഞാൻ എന്റെ ഹോമിയോപ്പതാണ് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ഇന്റേൺഷിപ്പ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നത് കോട്ടയത്തൊരു സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെന്റിന്റെ ഒരു സൈക്കാട്രിക് മെന്റൽ ഹെൽത്ത് സെന്റർ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അവിടെ ഞാൻ ഇന്റേൺഷിപ്പ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ കുറച്ച് സൈക്കാട്രിക് കേസസ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് സബ്മിറ്റ് ചെയ്യാനുണ്ടായി അപ്പൊ അന്ന് എടുത്താത് നമുക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ സിസ്റ്റർ നമ്മളിപ്പോ കുറച്ചു മുമ്പ് ചെയ്ത കേസ് ഇന്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷൻ അത് അതിന്ന് ഒരെണ്ണം ചെയ്യണം അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇതുപോലെ ഈ സൈക്കാട്രിക് കേസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് ആണോ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ഞാൻ ആ കുറച്ച് ഭാഗം കുറച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ക്ലാസ് കയറിയത് അതുകൊണ്ട് എനിക്ക് അതൊരു മോഡൽ മാത്രം അതൊരു പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ആണോ കേസ് ഇന്റർപ്രിട്ടേഷൻ ഒരു പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ആയിട്ട് ചെയ്യേണ്ടതുണ്ടോ അതെയോ നമ്മുടെ ഈ കേസ് ടേക്കിംഗിൽ ഒരു മൂന്നെണ്ണം ആണോ ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ സിസ്റ്റർ താങ്ക് യു സിസ്റ്റർ മൂന്ന് കേസ് എഴുതുന്നതിന് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ആയിട്ട് കൺസേൺ ലെറ്റർ വെക്കണോ കൺസേൺ ലെറ്റർ ആ വ്യക്തി ആവശ്യപ്പെടുകയാണെങ്കിൽ നിർബന്ധമാണെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ അറിയാവുന്നവരൊക്കെ ആണെങ്കിൽ കൺസേൺ ലെറ്ററിന്റെ ആവശ്യമില്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കാരണം നിങ്ങൾക്കിപ്പോ അക്കാഡമി കൗൺസിലറിന്റെ സൈൻ കിട്ടാനൊക്കെ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടല്ലേ അങ്ങനെ വെക്കുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇത്രയും ആളുകൾക്കും സെപ്പറേറ്റ് വെക്കണം സബ്ജക്ട്സിലൊക്കെ അതിനെ പറ്റി ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ സിസ്റ്റർ ഒന്നും പറഞ്ഞില്ല അപ്പൊ അത് അതാ എടുത്ത് ചോദിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ആവശ്യമാണ് നമ്മളിപ്പം പുറത്തൊരു ക്ലിനിക്കിൽ പോവുക അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വേറെ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷനിലൊക്കെ പോകുമ്പോൾ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും എവിടെയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇപ്പൊ ഫാമിലിയിൽ പോവുകയാണെങ്കിലും കൺസൺ ലെറ്റർ ആവശ്യമുണ്ട് നമുക്ക് പരിചയമില്ലാത്തൊരു സ്ഥലത്ത് പോകുമ്പോൾ അവര് റെഫർ ചെയ്ത ആസ്ക് പക്ഷെ ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ നിങ്ങളിപ്പോ നിങ്ങളുടെ നെയ്ബർഹുഡിൽ നിന്നോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫാമിലിന്നോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സിന്റെ അടുത്ത് നിന്നൊക്കെ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു ആവശ്യം കൺസെന്റ് വെർബിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ചോദിക്കാം ഈ ഒരു ഫോം ഫോളോ ചെയ്യണമെന്ന് നിർബന്ധമില്ല ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നീഡഡ് യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ഇറ്റ് ആ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നീഡ് അതിനകത്ത് സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് പെർമിഷൻ ലെറ്റർ എന്ന് എഴുതിയിരിക്കണം നിങ്ങൾ പെർമിഷൻ ലെറ്റർ എന്ന് മാത്രം മതി ആ സാമ്പിൾ എന്നുള്ളത് വേണ്ട മനസ്സിലായി
ഒരിക്കൽ ഒരു സെഷനിൽ എല്ലാം നമുക്ക് അസസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ലല്ലോ അപ്പൊ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെഷനിൽ കൺസെന്റ് ഇല്ല എന്തായാലും നിങ്ങൾ പ്രൊസീജിയർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ശരിക്കും നമ്മൾ ഒറ്റ ഇതില് മീൻസ് വൺ ഓർ ടു ടൈംസ് ആണെങ്കിലും നമ്മൾ അത് എങ്ങനെ എത്ര പ്രാവശ്യം എത്ര സെഷനായിട്ടാണ് ഇത് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്തതെന്ന് മെൻഷൻ ചെയ്യാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ മിനിമം ഒരു വൺ ആൻഡ് ഹാഫ് ഫോർ മാക്സിമം ടു അവേഴ്സ് യു ഹാവ് ടു സ്പെൻഡ് ചിലപ്പോഴൊക്കെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈമിൽ തന്നെ റാപ്പ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ചെയ്ത് കിട്ടാൻ ബുദ്ധിമുട്ടുള്ള പേഷ്യൻസിന് ചിലപ്പം ഐ തിങ്ക് ഒരു സെക്കൻഡ് ഓർ തേർഡ് സെഷൻ ആവുമല്ലോ So, all that you can mention in the so, session. We can mention that we can mention that. Yes, yes, yes. The whole yes, yes. interview took yeah. place in two sessions ah. or three yeah. sessions. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Anish. Anish and Anish. Okay. Hello, Anish. Sister, I have a doubt about you. പറഞ്ഞോട്ടെ <laughs> 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 സിസ്റ്റർ നമുക്ക് നാല് നാല് അതായത് നാല് അസൈൻമെന്റിനും കൂടി നാല് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽസ് പിന്നെ അഞ്ചാമത്തെ പേപ്പർ മിനി റിസർച്ച് പിന്നെ അടുത്തത് ഒന്ന് ജേണൽ ഇത് എല്ലാം ഈ ആറ് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽസും ജസ്റ്റ് സബ്മിഷൻ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അല്ലേ അത് വൈവ ഇല്ല അല്ലേ സിസ്റ്റർ എല്ലാത്തിനും വൈവ ഇല്ല അല്ലേ സിസ്റ്റർ ജസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ സബ്മിഷൻ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അല്ലേ ഒരു പത്ത് മിനിറ്റ് എങ്കിലും സിസ്റ്ററൊക്കെ ടൈം കിട്ടുമ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് അതൊന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ മതി എങ്ങനെയാണെന്നുള്ളത് അത് മാത്രം നമുക്ക് നെറ്റിൽ നോക്കിയിട്ടും വായിച്ചു നോക്കിയിട്ടും ചെറിയൊരു ധാരണ കുറവുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ ഈ ഓരോ പ്രാക്ടിക്കലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ സൂപ്പർവൈസ് പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ഫയലും ഇന്റേണൽ എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ ഇവാലുവേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് ഇന്റേണൽ ഇവാലുവേഷൻ ഡൺ ബൈ ദ അക്കാഡമി കൗൺസിലർ ആൻഡ് എക്സ്റ്റേണൽ ഇവാലുവേഷൻ ഡൺ ബൈ ദ ഡൽഹി ഹെഡ് ക്വാർട്ടർ ഓക്കെ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് ഓൺ യു ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദ ഫൈനൽ ുംറിയുന്ന കേസ് ഫാമിലിയിലൊക്കെ ഉണ്ടാവുന്ന ഒരു സംഭവമാണ് പക്ഷെ അല്ല സിസ്റ്റർ ഞാൻ ചോദിക്കുന്നത് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഉള്ള വിഷയങ്ങള് ഒരു കൗൺസിലിംഗ് ഇതിലേക്ക് വരുമോ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അത് പക്ഷെ ഒരു വളരെ ഒരു വയലൻസും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതുപോലെ മോശമായ ഒരു അവസ്ഥ എത്തുമ്പോ മാത്രല്ല അവർ കൗൺസിലിംഗ് ഇതിലേക്ക് വരുള്ളൂ ഇനിഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റേജിൽ വരാറുണ്ടോ ഇനിഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റേജ് അവർ അവയർ ആവണമെന്നില്ല അത് സാധാരണ കുട്ടികളുടെ നോർമൽ ബിഹേവിയർ ആണെന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കും പക്ഷെ അത് ചിലപ്പോ അതെ അതെ ഇപ്പൊ സ്കൂളിലും വീട്ടിലും ഒക്കെ അവരെ പോലെ തുടർച്ചയായിട്ട് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് പാരന്റ്സിനെ കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ കംപ്ലൈന്റ് വരുന്നു ക്ലാസ്മേറ്റ്സിനിടയിൽ അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ ആവുമ്പോൾ നോർമലി കുറച്ച് എന്താ പറയുന്നത് സെൻസുള്ള പാരന്റ്സ് ഒക്കെ കൗൺസിലിങ്ങിന് കൊണ്ടുവരാറുണ്ട് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്കൂളിൽ തന്നെ റെഫർ ചെയ്യുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇപ്പൊ സ്കൂളിൽ തന്നെ ആയാലും കൗൺസിലിംഗ് നടക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ യു ഫോക്കസ് ഓൺ യുവർ അസൈൻമെന്റ് കംപ്ലീഷൻ 
submit it uh, because uh, in order to write your exam, the, you have to, then uh, those who want to finish. Anjali Gumbala. Yeah, yeah. Anjali Gumbala. Uh, April, uh, May, Masam 3 to uh, the coming uh, Saturday, Sunday, where I call a Sunday. The Nigla administration under the Vanangila Academy Councillors need to evaluate the Chay and our sentence. Okay. Nigga April 30th, I am not Tandarikina Thai. Any Ninga Chalapadanata soft to be submission of an inter possible under the Paradit and the Pasha that would be very difficult for you also. And I MB upload the same that would be very difficult for you. And better you submit hard copy here at the center yeah, by post or direct coming. Okay. So thank you so much. Sister, sister, the email you share here, sister. Email ID. Ah, okay. And thank you so much, sister. You have been uh, uh, holding a very informative session. Thank you so much. Okay, sister, 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 thank you for coming. Sister, what time is it? Sister? Uh, 9 to 6 o'clock, my personal. 9 to 6 o'clock, my personal. Uh, personal uh, phone level again. I think uh, I'll be better. You can just uh, uh, post a message in the WhatsApp uh, for the um, land phone using uh, office time only from 10 to 4 or 5 maximum. Library, I don't agree to you, but Lady Corona, somebody can do Anyway, thank you for your offering. <laughs> Okay, maybe next year. Next year. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Of course, you can you have a second year also, no? Those who have taken the PGDC as okay. Yes, yes, sure, sure. Yeah, most welcome. Yeah, thank you so much, sister. Thank you so much. 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 Thank Vijayarikku. Ah, right. 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 I will sponsor it. Okay. Oh, yeah, great. Uh, <laughs> 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 <la